shall we get this going? I think we shall. I think we shall. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Under the Moons. We are done with the story. That's it. Done. If you've tuned in whenever it was, can't remember the day now, but we finished the game, and today is the epilogue. This is us talking about it, people in the chat uh, when you arrive. Uh, just let me know your thoughts on the game, we'll talk about it, we'll chat about it. But in the meantime, we're also going to be jumping back into the game to find the last of the collectibles, uh, which is the diaries. There's a couple of them left to go. So that's, that's kind of the plan for today, really, just to have a bit of a chill-out stream. So this is, yeah, the epilogue of Outcast, A New Beginning. I could be honest, I want to call it Outcast 2 A New Beginning every time I say that title. <laughs> but that's just me. But yeah, we, we, we finished the story, and if I'm honest, I've been trying my best to, to kind of remember what happened in the story. I'm trying to remember, like, who's, like, what happened, because it was quite confusing. Ortwin, hello, how are you doing? Ant, how are you doing? You sp spelled epilogue wrong. Whatever, it's a hard word to spell. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I don't think it's, it's, oh yeah, on the live title. Let's see if I can quickly edit that. How do you spell, I was going to say how do you spell epilogue, but it can literally, I can literally just ask you. Um, edit video. Oh gosh, this is going to take, oh no, we've gone somewhere completely different. Epilogue, there we go. Look at that save done <laughs> hopefully if you refresh the stream epilog will now be spelled correctly isn't that fantastic what a, what a time we live in eh? anyway <laughs> oh dear um and if hopefully there's not double me coming out hopefully not anyway let's let's let, let's get on with it uh kind of met some weirdly chill dudes then blew some stuff up pretty much uh seems you get uh, ported pretty it, late Slade. when Do driving something. and can survive quite some time before that plus on the arrival. What? Still didn't find out if there's any purpose to that thing though. Hang on one sec. I need, I need, I need to rewind and read this track. This, that, that. Alright. Ortwin said, missed the ending last time. Sad face. That's okay, Ortwin. Uh, got around to exploring the weird corner of the map tree thing though. The weird corner of the map. Oh, you did! Oh, cool. Let me know what it was. Uh, seems like you get ported pretty late when diving and you can survive quite some time with full life plus on my revival. Oh, so that's... Orwin's talking about the strange island we f I found out to see uh, a while ago. Um, it's like here somewhere weird. Um, so you're actually able to, to get over there. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Right. Well, let's start off this uh this adventure with the first diary entry that we want to find also Orwin, i don't know if you have an answer to this what's this supposed to be i feel like i've been everywhere met everything yet i cannot find what that is i think that's the only one i think everything has to be found yeah and also i've got like several characters they're just not met so they're just random people around the map still that I haven't found because I would have thought the story would inform me of everybody I could speak to. But yeah, there's quite a few of them. I, one of my thoughts was that these are the, um, the, the the painters we find around the map. Quite possibly. But today we're here for the diary. So we've got a few of them to go. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The uh, quite Quite a few, basically. Quite a few. So we're going to... We're going to try again from the top. We're going to find these. So we're going for number two. On a rock where travelers often take a break when thirsty. So clearly this is going to be a, a location of a, a water hole or something. And I'm wondering if it's going to be maybe in the desert area. I'm not sure. But um, anyway. Uh, or went back at it. Um, do -do 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 -do. There is a sort of low poly tree down in the water below it. Interesting. This is back to the strange island I see. Uh, got to that entry again. 
Uh, go to enter again. I can check my game. Okay, we'll do. Uh, oh, wait. did you find the th anything under the base? Oh, we did. There was a gigantic Senecta down there. <laughs> Which I was kind of checking the beastry to see, like, just under the bond bar. Um, yeah, I was curious to see if there was something. If, if, it, if that was going to be the entry. I think this might be the tiny birds, maybe. That are in the game. Because I don't think I've unlocked those. It could just be just it never... Let's have a look. There's the normal birds. There's the evil birds. <laughs> or the mean birds, I should say. Uh, oh, no, there they are. Hmm. The mystery is what the hell is this supposed to be? Um, right. So, yes, diaries. So, the first entry is pretty hard to figure out. So, we're going to go down. But over, overlooking the swamp, it awaits. Okay, well, at least that gives us an area to go to. So, we're going to the swamps, which is more or less this area, I believe. I think. Maybe not. Around here. Somewhere. That's where we're going to. Boop. Just outside of Emir. So we'll travel to the Emir Daoka and go from there. Woo! We probably should have checked if there was any in here whilst we <laughs> Alright. So, overall... I've adored playing this game. I've, been, I've really loved exploring. I think the games, I mean, they've all done an amazing job with the world. And I think that's evident through what all the feedback uh, of this game is, has been again and again and again. It's just like how good the world is, uh, how alive it feels, everything. So uh, they've done an amazing job with that. That's, to me, that's 10 out of 10. Like the world is 10 out of 10. Um, I've done an amazing job. Um, yeah, and I think. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe I should save sort of some of my thoughts for the actual review. You know, go proper into it. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh god. That didn't work out well. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a diary anywhere? I'm looking for a diary. That's right. <laughs> Okay. Woo. So, we're trying to find somewhere inside of the swamp that looks over everything. Or something that's looking over an area. So this could, could be reference to uh, a large tree. Which, you know, there's quite a few of them. Is that still with me? Okay. Oh, and me is literally just over there. <laughs> I haven't gone far into it. Hello, Fabian. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. We are currently trying to find a diary in the swamp. Um, overlooking stuff. <laughs> that's that's the gist of, of what we're doing so far. But it says it's overlooking the swamp, so I imagine it's got to be quite high up but not too high up where it would then obviously be like in one of the big trees like the hollow tree or the uh which is the giant bird tree uh because then the clue would be about that tree so it could i mean this is definitely more swampy isn't it uh i uh, i also have unlocked this beast tree Ooh, well fabian's here all right fabian this is interesting now this is getting very interesting what is this supposed to be just below the bond bar, there's a mysterious locked entry on the beast tree, and both of us haven't got it, so we're wondering what it is. Also, a bunch of characters that haven't been unlocked. Uh, I've said it before, but I'm thinking it might be the artists, maybe, because um, clearly they were supposed to be in the game for some reason, and their, their speech got taken out. Um, so, yeah. And now Fabian needs to double check himself. Oh, the plot thickens. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're trying to figure out where this diary is. Now, the diaries glow white. They have a little pulsing to them, and I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of sound effects to go with them. So we'll hear it when we're nearby. Probably I'll put my other headphone on. So that's kind of what we're going for. But I think it's going to be around here somewhere. Like, this, this feels like the right place. Like, this feels 
<laughs> this feels like the swamp. If someone says go to the swamp in Outcast in the beginning, I'm going here. Um, overlooking the swamp, it awaits. So it awaits. Is that part of the clue or is that just... It's just waiting for you. If it's part of the clue, what could await for you? I love this piece of music. It's like really slow. Love that shit. Um... <laughs> it awaits. Most of the times these dives, just, I just happen to bump into it. It's also the, the diaries kind of make sense as to where they are. Like, I, as far as I can remember, they've not been just like dumped in places that are really hard to get to. So they need to make sense as well. So we have that on us. So that was something moving there, just parallax of that plant. Uh, by the way, the default cylinder is still there, somewhat close to the base out to sea. <laughs> we need to find that as well. <laughs> Right. So there's the sunken doga. Which. That's not overlooking the swamp, that's part of the swamp. Also, Orwin, have you found any more dokas or have you just found the two? Because I feel like there could be a third one. Um, I think there's going to be another doka in the snow area somewhere. Hello, dear. Uh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shorten your name down to. Rick! Rick! No, Der. Yeah, it's better. That's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How is your day going? We are on a diary hunt. We finished the game. We finished the story. Um, if you have finished the story, let me know your thoughts and whatnot. So, yeah. But we are trying to find a diary that's supposed to be looking over the swamp. Problem is, the swamp is a little, quite big. I assume that it's this area. So we just gotta find the right place. I mean, this is a big tree, but I feel like it wouldn't make sense for it to be up here. Because then like, how did the anatomy get up here? <laughs> Well, I guess he just used the bounce pads and climbed a little bit. Because we have found the first diary of the evening. Diary entry called... We'll get that. Swamp Rider. <laughs> uh, oh my god. The tree is a mystery. Where is it exactly? Are you talking about Ortwin's messages above? I'll let you guys figure that out. Anyway, next one. Find the small wooden house near the Gandhar temple. A lot easier. Uh, okay, that's, you know. <laughs> we'll go from we'll go for that. Um, right, so that's the Gandhar temple. So we need to find the shack. Let's, let's also tidy ourselves up whilst we're going from place to place. Get rid of some. There we go. All right, let's get on over. Woo! Are we going to be going through the hollow tree? We might actually be doing that. Woo! That is the hollow tree, isn't it? Yeah. Woo. Oh lord! We, okay, I wasn't excited. <laughs> I thought there was another exit. Alright, we're going up through the hollow tree. Oh gosh. Okay. Did you finish the story yet? I have indeed, uh, Durr. Unless you're talking to someone else. Uh, but yes, I have. And uh, we finished it last stream. Uh, it took me by surprise. <laughs> it suddenly ended. I was like, oh, we're done. Um, but yes, I highly enjoyed it. I thought the ending was very rushed, though. Um, it felt like it was like a quick need to sum this up. Slash wasn't as clear as I think it could have been, or at least what they were trying to go for. Uh, I'll probably dive into yeah, could be useful. a bit more into um, uh, when I go into my review, which I'm hoping to get out 
some time. I obviously want to do a good job with the stream. Uh, also, in this, there's a like a shriveled up house I found. Is it this one? Where you can kind of crawl into. And it's, it feels like this is like a an Easter egg or something in here. But I'm not sure what it's trying to say. Like, we've got a small guy with a pot over a big guy. Like, is this loss? <laughs> is this a reference to loss or something? <laughs> or maybe it's a reference to the first game? I don't know. But it's interesting. Um, any chances for Outcast 3? What do you think? I mean, I think it all depends on how well the game does financially. Um, I would absolutely adore an Outcast 3. And the story leaves it to a point where they can go, they can go for that. Uh, wow, where exactly is that on the map? Orwin? It's right here. This is one of the ones I found a while ago. So I was just minding my own business. But yes. Uh, this is a random thing. It clearly it means something. I think it might be a lost Easter egg, but who knows? Um, <laughs> but we've got that. But that's just inside this like broken down area here. <laughs> right, but we are here for the diary entry. That is. Give me a second. Find a small wooden house near the Gandar Temple. So, wooden house. I feel like that's going to be easy to find in an area where everything's made of stone. So let's go have a little meow. Uh, how about yourself, uh, Durr? Have you finished the game yourself? Uh, what were your thoughts? And would you like an Outcast 3? And I'm quite... Ooh. It's a fr oh, I've been that hit before. Uh, what about Super Outcast? Oh my goodness. Yes, I want that. I mean, we've already got the racing game inside of the game. Uh, Nom Nom Racing, which I absolutely aced, by the way. Zero problems. Because um, I, I, I was reading up some reviews or some discourse online, and people having a real hard problem with the Nom Nom Racing. And, Gortwin, you said that they had updated the controls to make it easier, but it seemed like people were still having problems with it. So, I don't know. People are just idiots. Uh, <laughs> but, no, I, I found it dead easy. It's great fun. Right, wooden shack, wooden shack, wooden shack. Uh, in an Outcast 3, though, I think it would be kind of cool for them to maybe do, like, some revisits of certain areas. Um, because I'll in the first that. game, they talk a lot about what their worlds were like before Feyrun arrived and Sankra yeah, kicked off everywhere. Um, so, for instance, um, Okasanka. Uh, wait, is that? No, hang on. Oh, Kriana, my bad, where Talonzar is, the desert city. Uh, they talk about how that place used to be, like, filled with, like, purple grass and everything. So I'm kind of like, woo! I'm, I am really curious as to what, um... Oh, oh! Oh, a <laughs> resin, okay. I thought we just found a diary entry then. But it'd be kind of cool to see, like, what those worlds are looking like, all these moons on, or all these cycles on. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see sort of some of the older world again with some new locations. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, I haven't had too much fun spreading democracy, to be honest. That's my next game. <laughs> uh, what about the game where the Talan gets dragged to Earth and has to get a job and pay bills? That could be interesting. Well, Crocodile Dundee, but for Talan. <laughs> uh, fans, it's 1999. I'd love to see another one with a bigger budget. I mean, I feel like this is the biggest budget... Um, this game could have gone at least like it's crazy I think if anything it's well I guess sort of a bigger team full of like I guess that's a big budget as well because I think that's one thing you can definitely feel and sure it is it wears its tri its double A nature on its sleeves this game but it, it does feel like it's it's every so often the game sort of <laughs> like it's like the Truman Show where you're sort of walking around and suddenly sees like behind the set or something like sometimes you get that vibe where it's like oh we, we couldn't paint this area yet so we just look away like you know the screen goes black every time there's some complex animation that's needed like the, the gawk eating something just like goes to black and you just hear oh, blah, blah, blah. And it's like yeah fair enough we don't mind it like it's not a problem and i don't feel like it takes away from anything i mean i can hear something here is it just the flower making that noise? Probably. 
a very nice flower. <laughs> was this? Oh, it was an orum tray. That's why. <laughs> um, a talan on Earth, like Yakuza games, uh, set in a small part of the city. I think the one thing would, I mean, I, I would like to see what's happened on Earth because they talk about it a little bit in this game, which oh, I love. Like, just kind of like nuggets of information you get. Um, where, so the first game, the whole point of you going through is that we sent a probe through, um, with recording footage, some alien shot it, it blew up, and now it's caused a chain reaction. And now Earth is being swallowed into this now, that's black useful. hole warp tunnel looking thing. So you got to go and fix it because we're not having a good time here. So you go and fix it and you get, you you, you know, you get there to, for the probe's arrival. It's a weird time dilation thing. And as far as you know, you fix it. You put all the mons in and off you go. Um, and then you come back and apparently... Uh, half the world is, or like half the population of the world or something like that has been sucked in or something. Uh, the United States has crumbled into some like seven state system or something. It's like, what the frick? Um, I mean, we don't know too much about the world before the first game. We just assume it's just Earth. So there might be some more stuff going on. The fact that the World Federal Army exists, um, or whatever it's called. Um, Federation Army maybe, or Federal. Uh, so the fact that, that exists already tells you that it's probably a far more um, militant world, I imagine. Um, I'm very confused about the lock creature and character entries. Could be a bug. Um, did you? So was it completely blocked on yours as well, uh, Fabian? Or in B, I feel like there is an opportunity to make Outcast 3 a bit more limited in scope, reusing the map and assets from Outcast 2. To some extent, Yakuza style. Ooh, the Yakuza style is winning in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I mean, the one thing that you can't deny that appeal gets right is the world building. Uh, yeah, I have the same block, but I'm not finished yet. Interesting, ladies and gentlemen, we may have found an interesting thing here where there is a hidden animal entry. Could it be? You know what it is? It's the stupid kangaroo. <laughs> That's what it is. They're, hide they're teasing us with it. Um, which did get mentioned in the game. I was very happy when that happened. I was like, wow. So it does exist. So there you go. That's what I want from a... They see me. They didn't see me. That's what I want from a third entry. <laughs> We're cool. We're cool now with the drones. We're cool. Alright, so there's the temple. But we're looking for a, a wooden hut still near the temple. So maybe I was just a bit further back than we needed. Let's fly around it. Um, Martin! Hello! How you doing? Welcome back to the chat. We have finished the game and we are on a diary hunt. And we're talking all about the game as well. Uh, more like rat. Is it like a rat kangaroo or one? Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Uh, so how was your first playthrough impressions? Yeah, I, I really liked it. Uh, sadly, I thought the story came a bit short in what it was trying to get across to the viewer i think there's some really interesting uh, talking points about yeah like the whole coming over to a planet taking resources but then trying to stop the natives from going too crazy because it'll just wipe them out there's like a really interesting conversation there where cutter's trying to find the nuance um i really enjoyed that and i want to kind of look back at the cutscenes individually and try and read it again because i feel like some parts in the moment when i'm playing it didn't really like, I was like, have we skipped a scene here or something? It felt, yeah, it felt very rushed. More resin? More resin. But overall, yeah, I'm playing this game again, definitely. <laughs> I'll be going back in sometime in the future. That's for sure. Uh, I think the entries are bugged, but there are a few entries that got deleted a few months back. Tell us, tell us more, Fabian. Like, two different fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got you. I mean, that could make sense. Uh, I did a scan of the Mega Senector, but the no, yeah, no. I, I then, if you look at the Senector in the entry, you can see it's the exact same model. The fin might be a bit bigger, but I think I'm, I'm my, my eyes are just seeing something because, uh, yeah, it's definitely just a just a, a scaled up Senector. Uh, okay, right, we have the Talan here who've like set up a 
a fishing grid for the water coming down from the temple, which I kind of adore. Let's steal some, some stuff from here. I love that. This is the stuff like that's what I think a uh, appeal. Sorry if I've said it before. This is what they rock at in world building. So I would love to see. I'd be content with an outcast through that just it's just the someone exploring the world. And there's no like overarching stopping madness from happening. I hate uh, giant missions. spiders. <laughs> just give me a, a camera. <laughs> that's all I need from an outcast three. <laughs> I'm very content, man. Oh dear. Um. Dirk says, so did you fight, uh, so do you fight robots only or are there humans and or warriors like the fate? There are, ro yeah, you do go up against humans. You do indeed. Um, I think there's definitely situations, like they keep it more so to, to boss battles. Um, but throughout the whole game, I'm like, man, it'd be so cool to like, what would it be like to fight someone uh, who's got the jetpack I have and everything. And you do get that out of the boss battles and it is really fun. <laughs> Uh, annoyingly, because I'm streaming this game through SharePlay via the PS5, um, my controls keep getting like delayed or like too much input. So it was really frustrating because <laughs> it's such a fast-paced battle. So I was getting real like miffed off. But um, yeah, when I play it again, just onto my TV, it'll be great fun. But yeah, I really enjoyed those segments. Uh, sorry guys, gotta go. So sorry I couldn't be live with you more often. Life is complicated. Do not worry, Fabian. Um, yeah, zero problems, absolutely. Do not worry about it. Just leave a nice, happy comment or something after. <laughs> and share the video, give it an extra life. For, uh, you know, log into all your other accounts and like it. <laughs> let's, let's let's push the, the video. But thank you so much for coming, Fabian. Um, massively appreciate the support. Uh, Dirk, I had no time to play much of it, so I'm asking. Yeah, no, no problem, man. Yeah, um, I've... Yeah, I mean, ask away. I'm, I'm this, this. I'm now in spoiler mode for for this game. So, ask away, and you shall receive an answer. Also, where the heck is this wooden hut? I'm also trying to figure out like how far we need to be from the temple. Like, if it's just on the doorstep of the temple and it's just some wooden shack, it'd be so typical. Because yeah, everything's stone. So I feel like wooden shack's gonna stick out like a sword. Well, wooden shack in a blooming massive forest full of trees. The didn't I even know this made of wood, so it might not be actually as hard. Uh, have a wonderful evening, indeed. Wonderful evening, uh, Fabian. Do, 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 do. Mm. But yeah, as, uh, in terms of like things that are ten out of ten in the game. Like, yeah, the world, uh, for me, yeah, the, the landscapes, 10, 10, 10, design, 10, 10, 10. Movement system, it's a close 10. I think I have to bring it down a little bit just because I would always want to, I've said this so many times, I want to be like a jump, I have, I messed up my thing. I want it, I've wanted it to be like a jump and then boost. Because there's so many times that I don't want to use a boost and I keep slamming my head. Um... I reckon someone could easily make a mod for it, but I'm on a PS5, so I'll sadly not be able to enjoy it. But that's that's what brings down the movement system for me. <laughs> it's just my little ick with it. But I really enjoy it. Flying around with the jetpack, we've fully unlocked everything, and working towards unlocking it so you can have a more fun experience flying around. Ah, oh, so much fun! So yeah, I've, I've had not had this much fun with movement system since just before. Like, it really is good fun. Uh, Martin, do you still plan to do a proper full review of the game? Indeed I do. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to be getting some time off next week, so I'm going to do a, a proper good little deep dive into it, I think. Um, but yeah, because I've, I've got I've got lots to say about it, I think. And we'll see if the review is as controversial as my second contact review. Holy hell, the comments on there. Just some people are very angry with me. <laughs> people are like you should hate this game. Like I don't hate this game. <laughs> like that. Ugh, the main comment I got from that video, I said, like, if I was giving this game a ten out, uh, uh, if I was ranking this game based solely on its landscapes and how it looks, I'd be giving it a ten out of ten. And people are like you gave this ten out of ten. You're saying you give this game a ten out of ten. Ugh, can't believe you. I'm like really. So much so that in the 
in the description for that video. I went in and I was like, just so people don't get annoyed at me. When I'm saying 10 out of 10, I'm talking about this aspect of it. So shut up. <laughs> it's actually one of my highest rated, uh, highest viewed videos as well on my channel. I don't think many people got onto the to that game to give it a review. Uh, Dirk says, what, an, what I absolutely don't like is that the world is so bright, colorful, and appears not to be dangerous. Remember how dark Outcast 1 was? Just look at the cover art and the backside of the box. I really miss it. Uh, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. Games have been way too dark since the flipping PS3 era. And we get a nice full saturated game of a world that feels like full of life. Taking this. I'm fine with that. And again, this is just the nice bright colorful area of the planet. You know? Uh, Okasanka, where the marshes is, where most of that box are. But yeah, I've got, I've got the box up behind me. Like, that's all... That's all dark and gloomy. Because that's... That's that's an Okasanka. There's a Darasham in the background, I think. Almost. Oh, wait. Where is this? <laughs> what am I looking at? Here's the Darasham, yeah. Um, but the back... Again, like, the, the main things there is it's just from... From Okasanka. So... Yeah, I mean... You... you you're correct in what you're saying, but... I mean, Okar, that was bright and colourful. Shamazar, that was bright and colourful. One's just a desert that's bright, but mainly desert colour. So, uh... Disagree! <laughs> uh, uh, I really miss it. Uh, Martin, I've also started playing the game with my girl, as I already way... I'm already way too spoiled for me. And my biggest complaint would be the UI, which is super confusing, mostly the quest part. Interesting, I've seen that uh, pop up a few times as well. Uh, first time in Okasanka, I was shitting myself. <laughs> Okasanka is a very dangerous place, especially. Can't stand here all day. Be, be quiet, Kata. we're talking about your past adventure. Um, uh, Menno Gaming, I think if there's anything this game gets a 10 for, it's the landscapes. The art direction for almost any of you make of the world uh, and this is a proper good sci-fi art, absolutely. It's, I think that was like the same kind of praise uh, No Man's Sky gets. It's like, if you just pause it, you've made a cool sci-fi book cover. Um, and yeah, same for this, absolutely. Um... <laughs> uh, Martin, but I really enjoy uh, seeing her discover the world. So it's super cool to rediscover the game through her playthrough and yours. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Metal Gamer, you can go stand in so many spots in the game and get a lovely, well-balanced view out of it. Yeah, 100%. I really hope it does get some nominations. Um, obviously, the music as well. It just, oh, just feels like you're playing a, a sci-fi movie from... Well, from, I guess... Just from an orchestra, really. I was going to say, like, a modern one, but modern sci-fi is technically Doom. <laughs> this, the soundtrack doesn't sound like Doom. <laughs> Doom soundtrack sounds like Doom soundtrack. Um, where the hell is this wooden <laughs> shack? I've been running around for ages. I need to find the shack, ladies and gentlemen. It's hiding a diary entry. Near the this the, and this is the this is the Gandar Temple. Like, yeah, okay, at least I'm in the right place. Um. Uh, Dirk says just by looking at the background in Shemazar and in general. Uh, gave this dark and mysterious atmosphere just not there. Fight me, but I, <laughs> but I don't like the art direction. <laughs> hey, I mean, hundred percent. It's 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 all it's all your perspective. That's perfectly fine with me. I got no problem. Uh, Mellow Gaming, No Man's Sky has some good moments, but it's usually when it's actually directing your attention to space things. Yeah, the planets themselves are often a bit hodgepodge. I mean, yeah, true, very true. Um, Orwin. Uh, Maybe take the Glenta, get a better view of things. That's not a bad shout. And the poor Glenta doesn't get get much use, to be honest. There we go. It's coming in from over the trees, I think. It's coming from an awkward angle. There you are! Oh, drifting in! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get a little better... I think we must, must have knocked down a temple there. Oops. <laughs> um, never thought of the look of Outcast as dark or anything, says Mellow Gaming. It's interesting. 
Um, I know, I, but I know, I uh, Dirk, I know exactly what you're talking about, though, like hundred percent. So, it's Outcast, especially Okasanka, with its mix of the music as well, is really sort of like sad atmosphere, which brings an, a dark one down. Like when and when you are exploring around that world, it and they're talking about, you know, um, they're talking about. Um, how bad things are for the Talan race and everything. It is. It's sad and depressing and dark. And I think so. I know. I 100% know what you're talking about. Absolutely. Um, also, the coloring of that game, depending on what you were playing on back in the day, <laughs> could it's literally look very word. dark. <laughs> so I'm wondering if they are talking about the. I'm talking about the Dolatai Guardians bases because they're wooden. We'll do one more loop around, but I think they're wooden thing, so maybe that's what it is. Um, Ortwin says, Planner is a pretty gloomy as well, though. <laughs> that Actually, yes! Speaking of which, both Polana and Procriana. Uh, tell you what, once we've found this uh, diary entry, we're going to find another diary entry that is in one of those locations, and we'll go there, so uh, Dirk... You, you, what, by the way, Dirk, what is your actual name? Because like, I don't want to keep calling you Dirk. Um... But yeah, we can show you that because that's that is actually a really dark, gloomy place. Um, near the okay, yeah, forget this. This is a good idea, Orwin, but I don't think we can get close enough to the ground. So I'm, good. I'm just going to go to the Dolotai Guardian camp, who are right now in the story a bit more militant than they were uh, previously. So we're playing at a time just before the end of the game. It's done that whole thing of like, once you go past this point, uh, there's no return. So, yeah. Are these wooden shacks? Well, they're wooden. <laughs> Has anybody seen a diary? I want to steal a diary. Uh, I know you know what I mean. And if you like the way that's designed, even better. Yeah. Uh, tell me if you want a hint. I do. I think I remember most of these. Uh, oh, sorry, Dirk. Your name's actually Fabian. My bad. Because there was another Fabian in the chat. I thought you were referring to him. No problem. You are Fabian. Uh, should be south from next to a small body of water. Small body of water. It's not showing up on the map. Unless it's that tiny one there. Go away. And how close are we talking in terms of two... <laughs> to everything. Also, this stream is about uh, coming together and finding these uh, diary entries, so... <laughs> Just let me know what they are, basically. <laughs> We've got to find a body of water as well. That's our first clue. And on the map, it didn't look so obvious in terms of... Because, like, that's a body of water there. Unless it's you talk maybe this one. Uh, like one to two cliff ranges south. Ah, okay. So more around here, or are we talking further up here? Also, the delay on the um, uh, maybe a bit west from where you are now. Okay. If I go west. Oh, do you mean there's the, there's the body of water on the cliff side, isn't there? Also, in ter west in terms of, like, if that's north, then it's in this direction. <laughs> Let's just get out. Uh, maybe we can but yeah, the delay on the stream now is so, like, minuscule compared to how it was when I first started streaming, so... We won't be as lost as we were when we were playing the demo. <laughs> Good times. Let's get up a bit. So here's the. Wait. I'm getting a little lost now. There's the glinter. This body of water. Uh, I'm here since you made one of your first. I, uh, I'm I'm here since you made one of your first Outcast videos. It's a bit confusing uh, when Planet Delphi is named Fabian too. Ah. Oh! Well, absolutely support the. Uh, I absolutely love the support of being a long time. 
<laughs> a long time uh, viewer, so 100% all the love. Uh, if you see or hear the poison spitting plants, you are close. Uh, okay, further south. So we're going to go, I guess, down around here. And probably a bit higher up. How close to this gork are you thinking? I'll give it a couple of seconds. <laughs> uh, so I got, I got the, the chat I'm communicating with and my friend Sibian, uh, who is watching but doesn't use the chat on YouTube, so he's messaging me. Uh, so his imp input is, um, did you find it? Uh, it's hard to sort the chat. Yeah. Um, was it behind you under the tree? Uh, it was not. Oh, that was a while ago. Okay, I'm going to have to have my phone <laughs> out <laughs> for his messages. All right, so we're going to go south from here. Woo! Oh, I'm so happy I've got that fully upgraded. It'd be cool if there was a there was like a final upgrade for like complete unlocked of like constant jetpack or something when the game's fully sure you've explored all the map <laughs> okay, there's a door Ooh. got some pride rock looking place here Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Getting a little too south now, I think. There's enemy base there. But the Z dogs, you were saying. Oh. Is that a body of water? Could be. It is. Okay. Have we got Z dogs? We have Z-Dogs, okay. I feel like we're getting close. So a wooden shack. Yeah, around here. Let's get some height. Cam and I hate these things. Okay, let's circle around this tree. Very close. Shouldn't be far from there, but I don't know exactly. <laughs> um so we are on the right path now. We followed the clues uh, with Ortwin's help. We are getting closer. Ooh. Let's get to the top of this. We might be able to see something. Slash, we might be up here. Right. I mean, there is the temple. <laughs> we are close to it. Not on the seaside yet. I can't see anything. There's the statue there and any base over there. So let's go this way. Shout if you see something. It's quite a cool area. Hmm. So there's the ruins of a temple, which we don't need. One of those murky ponds for sure. But we're definitely in the right area. If we've got a Z-Dog spitting at us. <laughs> and high, not low, yeah. I feel like it should be like sticking out or something. Really should be able to see it. Oh, heck. Also, this game's gonna get a, a, a zero out of ten because there's no caves inside of it. <laughs> Barry entry in by now. 
Uh, Sweet Liberty. We got a new cape to honor the fallen on Melavrido Creep. Awesome. Oh, this is the um, stuff that's been going on in uh, Helldivers 2. I've been seeing a lot of that on Twitter. Um, I'm going there in my own game now. Oh, bless you, Orwin. <laughs> You're a big help. area quite like this the elusive wooden hut flipping flip okay we're back to broken temples again but we're getting further up we've been here a few times I saw nothing up there. Nothing that would indicate. Ooh, nothing that would indicate a, a shack or anything. Let's read the clue again. You know, sometimes it helps just to read stuff again. Uh, find the small wooden house near the Gundar Temple. <sighs> uh, move to the murky pond up high and move slower. Okay. Uh, so the murky pond's up there. So I'm gonna walk there. <laughs> Is this house going to be like a house for a mouse or something? So there's the murky pond at the top. Oh my goodness, really? It was right there the whole time. I literally just must have... It, uh. Go away, no one likes you. Well, we found it. Thank you, Orwin. Big, massive help. I can't believe that. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, we're stealing this uh, Talan who's living a life of refuge. I can't believe that. The blooming hut was... And he's got a security system as well. So we came in, we saw the Z-Dog, we went straight over there instead of just looking to the right. <laughs> Right, so we're going to go to Ocus. Uh, sorry, we're going to go to Polana or Procreant for the next one. So we're going to find a clue that is in that area, so uh, Fabian here can see what the area looks like uh, because it is very dire. Okay, uh, overlooking a crash site from the snow-covered sites. From here, you can cue line everybody and make sure nobody is slacking off what's making Lampe. Very nice. Fight for the root. Okay, that's interesting. I know where the risk is. Looking at Kizar, where the snow meets the sea. Um, at the starting point of Desan's climbing path. Hidden with fresh fish, scared by the invaders. Sounds like it could be. Um... <laughs> Hidden below the lighthouse path, south of Procriana. There we go. Um, we're going to go for that one. Hidden below the lighthouse path south of Procriana. Uh, okay, I feel that's going to be easy enough. It says Procriana, lighthouse path. So somewhere around here, I guess. And then we'll stop off and have a little look. But that's where we're going next. So let's get to the closest Daoka. I still refuse to use the, the quick travel system. <laughs> real outfast, outfast, real outcast fans. Don't don't use fast travel outside of the fast travel of the Dogus. All right, through we go. Oh. And we're going to stop at the Procreana Falls, which is a lovely view. All right, I think I should cook something. It's getting late, but I will continue watching your stream in the meantime. Absolutely. Uh, we're going into the, the, uh, the cool, dark looking areas. There we go. It's already a bit dark from here, but when you get there, it gets darker. But this area here and then the other side of the mountain have two really dark locations. I quite like Palana quite a bit, for what it's worth. Right, lighthouse path. So, I assume we're looking for a lighthouse. So let's go down to the coast, because that's where lighthouses are usually found. 
see if we can find a lighthouse. I haven't looked at the chat yet, but I feel like all winds like shouting. It's like, no, that's too far. I've not actually been to this area, or at least these pillars. That's kind of cool. That looks ominous. There's another plant to shoot us. No, it's just some dudes. Uh, well, this is cool. Found a little shrine, shrine inside of this uh, tower. Cool. <laughs> Look at that! It's like someone was trying to build a little area of climbing up and around to his air <laughs> hideout. That's fun. Whoop! Steady. Uh, what? Don't remember that one. Yeah. No, don't do it. You've already put a drill down. Don't drill a drill. Ah, oh, the human. I mean, there's a, there's a there's a hole for it, I guess. Where well, there's a hole, there's a way, you know. <laughs> cool. Uh, right. So we are supposed to be finding a lighthouse down here, or the lighthouse path, they called it. So I see no lighthouse here. And it says south of Procriana. There are only two lighthouses on the map, I think. Yeah, that's as far as I know there are. And they're both not in this direction. So, interesting. The lighthouse path. Unless... Hmm. Unless there's, a, well, then there's the lighthouse. So, I mean, it is south of Procriana. So I guess it's just on the pathway up to this one. So let's have a little look there. And uh, I think we'll go back to just doing these in order next time because I have to like scroll down. Um, hidden below the lighthouse path. Okay, so that's just going to be the bridge, I imagine. Yeah, let's have a look for it here. This feels right. I feel like I've got this one. Maybe there's another one around the lighthouse. There we go. Got it. Woo. Nice. A bit quicker that time. <laughs> right, so we have on a rock where travelers often take a break when thirsty. That's that's it's a hard one. That could be several places. Overlooking a crash site from this snow covered site. Uh, from here, keep an eye on everyone. So I, I, let's do this one because we could just go up high to to, pro, uh, to from Polana, go up to the top and have a look for it from there. I think that'd be quite fun to do. Now, where's the closest though? It is that one. Okay. Woo. I am very much looking forward to the video, Outcast, a new beginning, cut content. Because I feel like there must be a good load in this game. Because there are some parts that feel like, like the artists and, and things like that. And the strange question marks of hidden beasties. <laughs> Slash, will the developers be like, well, they could make their appearance in the third one, so we're not going to tell you anything. Because <laughs> it's funny, they divulged quite a bit about the original um, Outcast 2. And, and what was that? I think it was like 2014 um, that Frank Sewer put up his blog about the, the sequel and they went to depth with it and that's when I made my video over it. Um, and then I feel like 2015 or 16, like then they they were like, oh, we're actually going to be doing it. So they then went back and Frank, uh, Frank like deleted his post and everything. <laughs> uh, let's go to the peaks. Mm -mm -mm. Also, we are wearing the the orange hoodie uh, for the final stream. I thought it was only right to start and end it with this one. Right, so we are looking for a crash site in the snow. I found a crash site in the desert. Um, there was no diary there. Unless there was. So how high do you think we should go? If it's in the snow, it could literally be anywhere. And I feel like this, or when I don't know if you'd be correct in thinking this as well, but 
this is like probably one of the it's going to end up being one of the most unexplored areas just because of how hilly it is and there's not really much back here on the other side of the mountain um, so it could be rife with like stuff now if i'm a crash site in a beautiful landscape and i'm a developer trying to make a scenic looking area where would i look well, I imagine it'd be sort of flatter ground. So let's fly on down through there. See if anything appears. Uh, I explored the coast a lot and found pretty much nothing. <laughs> okay, crash site, crash site, crash site. Lots of animals. But no crash sites. in the snow I know in my luck it's literally probably right behind me and I just can't see it if I'm not turned the right way <laughs> all right up we go let's get another perspective advantage point oh it's the end of the trail there okay oh wow okay we're up very high here uh, I don't think it's going to be over here. <laughs> I feel like we've exhausted the potential areas of this path at least. Uh, and I would assume it's not just going to be on the side of a hill. Um, potentially could be over there. But that's getting less likely. I feel like could be more so over here. So we're going to turn around, I think. Or when should we turn around <laughs> and go the other direction? <laughs> Really cool landscapes. I mean, I can't see anything that could look like a crash site, but then also, the, you know, pop-ins and stuff do exist. Higher up, I think. Yeah, we'll go back up. It's a cool pathway you can see on the cliffside there. I'm not quite sure where you are exactly. I am here! There you go. That's where I am. Woo! Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I'd thread that. Oh, hello. Don't think I'll ever come across you. Looks like we're getting a bit of action today, lads. Fear you guys so much. And now look at Poor things. Alright. Another drill up there. No crash site up there. Let's go up a little higher. Or a little lower. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Now this is this is what this stream is all about. It's finding these unique little areas that you might not otherwise find because we've been flying around everywhere. Oh my goodness, Cutter, this is very steep for you, isn't it? This is... Ooh. I think we may have found one accidentally. Oh no, it's a module part. Orwin, do you have this one down? <laughs> right here. Just a little below the dough corner path. That's where the module part is. Yoink. Sure. Okay, he does, he does, he has got that one. <laughs> that was cool though. There is definitely something about just like following this game's paths and seeing just where you end up. Ah, a temple. Okay, so that's down through there. Alright, let's get some elevation and see if we can see a crash site from a little higher again. Have you? Uh, no. 
Now you are probably way too far east for the diary. Oh no! Too far east? Heck. Let's get up higher. Think. That like crash size? Does indeed look like Can a crash site. Alright, let's waste the locals. <laughs> Woo! That is definitely a crash site. Oh, look, they killed some birds as well. <laughs> uh, all right. Did it say near crash site? Overlooking a crash site. Right, okay, my bad. So probably just up here. Ah. That should be a clue. Ooh. Okay. How much overlooking should we be doing? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we found the crash site. Oops, wrong button. And that poor Galentis have to come all this way. I'm so sorry. Uh, not sure, but I think uh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, no. Higher up and more west. Dang, okay. Uh, so more towards Procreana. You know what? May as well. When in Rome. So we've explored that area. So you're saying it's a little further back on ourselves and up higher uh no procreana is south no as in like just that's where procreana is but like more towards this sort of area of it right, it's higher up we go so i found the wrong crash site <laughs> flock of killer birds just silence like uh, but I'm also not sure. Oh, cool, Michael, and turn follow you. <laughs> okay, this is just a little. Oh, that's just a cool little flag up there. Eh, uh, this is probably worth having a look at anyway. This is cool. This is very cool. I like this a lot. from the snow if we go down not anymore. I mean it could always just be on this side. It doesn't have to be on that side. Glide to the other peak and see if we can see it on the way there. So there's a old gulk there. A crash ship near here. Wreck. I've ran out of juice. Oh, 
Another precious flower for myself. Okay, so Glenn stop. There you are. <laughs> Starts to get cold at that altitude. Didn't miss anything today. No. If you remember, is it on like a flat surface? Or is it like actually embedded into the wall? This is a cool little area. Uh, did Carter not bring a hoodie? That's one thing this game should have, is adaptable clothing. He's running around in his prison attire. He's running around in the clothes that he got shot in. Oh no, how disappointing! An inactive bounce paddy thing. Dang, that's sad. Ah, oh, two inactive bounce paddy things. So unsatisfying. A third. I wonder if there was something originally up here then. If there's three of these and none of them are working, I wonder if they took something out. Because it's not a, it's not the end of a Aurum trial. Interesting. Hmm. When developers take things out, take things out, but leave the clues. And this is where like a precious flowers for the game sometimes. work? Dang, this whole area just has a bunch of these things that don't work. Alright, crash site, crash site, crash site. Where are the... Um, surely it takes more work to stop them working. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing it's just like a trigger point for an animation. Slash velocity input output. Right, that's a base down there. And I can't see any crash around here, so I think... Oh, are we on the wrong... Are we on the right or wrong most western peak? So this sucker... Flippin' egg, we went far, I didn't realise how far we were. <laughs> Come on, to Palana! I thought we were doing in Procreana. <laughs> uh, would have thought the bouncy plants uh, just have a thing that triggers the bounce normally as part of their behaviour. Yeah. Oh gosh, what did I just put down? Did I put green down? I did. Alright, most western peak. Let's flip and go. I'm just, you know, I feel like the clue should be a bit more specific seeing how we did find a crash in the uh, in the snow. I am going to green, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, pretty close to the sizzle ne nest, actually. Oh, right, okay. So there's one. <laughs> right, yeah, 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 the one that's all the way up here. Okay. I don't remember seeing one when I was up there, but I guess I wasn't looking for one. Right, yeah, there's a little uh, bit of... Uh, Flat land up here. Okay. Gosh, that noisy. I like the clues that are vague, make some good late game content. It does indeed. Uh, I just think if there's a second crash, there we go. If there's two crashes, then it should probably be a bit more. <laughs> you know, like. Because it was saying, like, you could have said, like, west of. Procreana or something like that instead of like over here which would have been east alright and it's not even any bigger than the other one alright where are you oh, there you are. oh no that's not it I know it's overlooking this place wasn't it it wasn't part of it oh yeah because I've been here and look I've, I've already raided that so I guess it's just yeah we're just at the top here Okay, these guys seem pretty chill. Okay, clearly gone to the wrong area again. There's no diary up here. No 
was overlooking the crash. If this ain't overlooking the crash, then I don't know what is. Hi. <laughs> These are chill animals. No, wrong button. Uh, pretty sure it should be there somewhere. Yeah, me too. Seeing how... I mean, this is definitely the crash site. Seeing how the birds weren't killing me, maybe I should save and reload again. What was the clue exactly? The clue was crashed in the snow overlooking... Come on. Crashed in the snow overlooking... There we go. Uh, overlooking a crash site from this snow-covered site. So if it's overlooking, it's going to be up. <laughs> they just do not care. Um, it's way too high for them here. They're just like, oh, I'm so pleased. Okay, I guess you can see the crash site from here. <laughs> How about overlooking the bloody nest? <laughs> All right, that's that one done. <laughs> it's a bit vague, you know, just pulling it lightly. Um, all right, next one. Overlooking crash. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, this is interesting. This is uh, this has changed things quite a bit. So, uh, okay. <laughs> right. Um, we in this case, there might be three crashes because we just picked up a diary that was not for this one. That was for another one. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Mm -mm -mm. I'm guessing there wouldn't be two diary entries that close together, so surely it's got to be a little further away. I'm not seeing it glowing either, so maybe we do. We we just. Go to the other snowy area, the other side of uh, Palana. Flipping heck. <laughs> so, there is more than two crash sites in the snow. And I'm guessing that it's got to be a big crash site to, st to really stick out, you know? We found two crash sites. So, it's got to be one that's slightly bigger, right? I, I, I feel like that's... That's how a clue would work, right? Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like the the landscape and everything. It really is pretty. Do 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 do. Flock of killer birds, just what I need. Well. Uh, it is the north one of the hills of... Is it the one north of the hills of Kandoka? So around here somewhere. <laughs> so many. I think I've got to get rid of some. Turn you off. Uh, I don't even know where the other one is. Oh, you're all the way over there. Turn you off. Let's head to that that one. We're just gonna end up finding all the other ones before we find this bloody one. Pum 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 pum. Oh dear dear dear. All right, so. Let's slow down. 
Uh, if you read the hint carefully, only the overlook is supposed to be covered in snow, not the site itself. Well, that's just blooming cheeky. Okay, so Doka's there. I can hear something. First of all, let's find the crash site, which Orwin is saying that doesn't necessarily have to be in the snow. So, we're looking for a crash. Possibly not in the snow. There's a bird egg, I'll take that. Alright. So, let's get a little lower. We are looking for a snow covered area that's overlooking not a snow covered area where it crashes. Have I got that right? <laughs> and I'm assuming it's going to be quite obvious that it's a crash and possibly a little bigger than the other two crash ships in the snow covered landscape. overlooking a crash site from this snow-covered site. Let's just get on top of the tip. Ooh. Hmm. Can't see any crash stuff here. Oh, the temples. Well, hmm. Oh, wait, I think you have to tell us. The crash ship is the same asset as always. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. The game, the clue definitely had to be more specific. But I feel like we've gone past the, the snow covered landscapes now. This diary spot does have the position spitters this time though. Oh, the poison spitters. Do you mean the the, the plants that shoot not... Because I, I thought you were talking about the, the Z-Dog before, because they're technically a plant. More north. Oh my goodness, I'm close as well. So I've definitely been here before because I've explored that hut. And there is a crash ship around here actually, if I remember cor correctly. Okay, that is a crash ship. I thought it was, oh no, I was looking further. So it's around here. Yay, I'm with you now. So the Orim Trail's there. Right. Cam and I hate these things. Could it be? Uh huh. Okay. There we go. That looks possibly. There we go. We found it. Cool location. That kind of looks over. Landscape or top of a big rock, you know? I don't know. I would have written that clue a bit differently. Clearly there wasn't conversations about how many times a crashed site was used near the snowy area. <laughs> All right, a little unsatisfying, uh, but it's okay. We progress. We progress. Uh, we have, uh, from here, you can keep an eye on everyone and make sure nobody's slacking off while making lampy. Right. This should be a fun one. I think we've got a good chance of just finding this one uh, just due to sort of going to Ema. Uh, not even bitter. I'm just sort of looking for a nice advantage point. Uh, the freshwater fish one. That's way worse. Oh gosh. Well, we'll do we'll do bitter first, just because I'm already uh, I've mentally already <laughs> accepted that's the next one we're doing. <laughs> Woo! I think we're getting close there. Just we're we gonna make it through. Ooh. 
Yee! Alright, off the bit then. And it's just going to be probably quite an easy one, I imagine, this one. Alright, so. That's the lampy area. And we just need a good vantage point from here. There we go. <laughs> Done! Oh! It looks like a bird stole it. Nice, that was nice and easy. Right, let's do the fish one. That, I like that hint. There we go. That's a hint I like. <laughs> Alright, fighting for the wrist. That'd be a, hopefully an easy one. Uh, looking Kazan at the starting point of the Dasan path. Hidden with fresh fish. Scared by the invaders. So I'm guessing. Fresh fish would then mean fresh water, right? So not out to sea if it's fresh fish. You're not getting this without a hint. <laughs> well, let, let, let me do some brain work first. Uh, so it's in the mountains. Okay. So we're looking for a base in the mountains. Okay, therefore I'm guessing that it's going to be in Palana because that is a facility there that has the water sucking. So I'm guessing it's going to be near that area. Am I correct? Yeah, I think it is. Based on the clue. Maybe. Maybe but that's, that's where I'm thinking. I think it's back to Palana. <laughs> uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, but near, near uh, an enemy base, right? That, that makes sense. Uh, just tell me where it is. <laughs> Fresh fish. Uh, sort of near an enemy base. So that's the one I was thinking of. Where it's taking the water. Because there's the water near there. Uh, lake next to Procreana, though. Oh, it's that one. Oh, it was there the other day. Uh, right. And through. Yeah. All right. Uh, Procreana. Uh, was missing in my game in the January, and I go, oh, man, I could not deal with that. Oh, yeah, my goodness, can't imagine. <laughs> Just give me some heads ups. Maybe don't look, <laughs> maybe don't look too hard for some entries. They might not be in the game. <laughs> for anybody not knowing, Orwin got a, a quite an early copy of the game, so he was, <laughs> yeah, I, I would have gone crazy over that. <laughs> uh, dear, the trauma of this one. I kind of wish there was a post-world game we could explore where maybe there were like dismantled enemy bases or something you know an area maybe not for yeah the this is gonna hurt. gamer or something no, just in case it isn't the enemy base it's just gonna hurt. oh once so terrifying yet now ridiculous to even come on bastard Get over the flipping railing. A little bit of action, just in case anyone's tuning in and wondering, where's the action in this game where that man's running around with a gun? There we go. No, this is not Vanquish from 2010. No idea when that came out. I think it's stuck behind the door. No. Okay. No more funny business. So scared by fish. Oop, wrong button again. Oh, hang on. Oh, this one I think I'll take the railing. 
So, we start off at the little jetty here. I see no diary. I'm assuming that it'll be in one of these little islands. No diary here. I have been to that hut there just for the logs. Oh! There's something deep in the waters there. Let's go for a let's go for a little dip, shall we? Boom! All right, there we go. Diary. <laughs> so what have we got down? It's a sunken boat. Nice. A shame I didn't see that last time I was here because I did go down quite deep. Are you? Oh my goodness! It's a deep sea frog. Froggerty, what are you what are you doing down here, my friend? You gotta get to safer grounds. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my January save game is still not there. Oh and you're, oh yeah. Well at least you know where it's supposed to be. Gosh. Alright. Thank you very much, Orwin. There's a big help on that one. So my thing of clues is like if you're going for a clue, you have to then make sure it doesn't mean references to like so many other locations as well. Like you, have, you do have to be a bit more specific. Because there is, yeah. New, enemies are scared away this one. Like scared the fish or something. I don't, I, mm, anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> okay, on a rock where travel, I still feel that's so far, but I fight for the wrist. We'll do the wrist one, because the wrist is, Fight for the wrist, so I'm guessing we're going to go to the wrist field and it will be near an enemy base near the wrist fields. That's my logic. Wrist field one. Uh, actually, where's our close stoke? It's still broke around. Woo! Right, let's go. Not satisfying. No, not satisfying. Let me. There we go. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're good. We're good. Just about. Wristfield. There's another missing one you have? Oh, goodness. Right, so the logic of this clue, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the wrist field. And we're fighting for the wrist. Therefore, the only reason why I'd be fighting for the wrist is if there's an enemy base. That is my thinking in terms of the clue. How does that sound, ladies and gentlemen? Does that sound like it makes sense? So, how far does the wrist field extend? Because maybe... Okay, the wrist fields are here. And there's the enemy base. So, my guess is that it would be somewhere in between. have any ideas love to hear it if anybody's thinking out loud I really haven't had time to explore this field. it's such a lovely looking location hmm. that could just be a plant but it says ground our plant it was a plant <laughs> yeah very pretty area Very cool. Fighting. What did it say? Was it fighting for the wrist or fighting with the wrist? Fight for the wrist. How many more do we have? We've got quite a few. <laughs> okay. So my idea made sense, but it was clearly not the answer. There's not really any. There's nowhere um, or missions that talk about like, oh, they're getting in the way of the wrist, so there's not much in the way for that. In terms of like fight for the wrist, like if that would make sense in Shamazar because they were like, oh, you know, we can't 
do our risk thing because there's soldiers here or something, but there's not really been much use of the risk fields here. Make sure wonder if there was missions originally based for the risk fields because it's quite a big set piece. <laughs> Like, it extends quite far. Like, it goes into the forest or the jungle quite a bit. Hello, birdies. Uh, well, I have two missing diaries. Oh, man. Okay, something up there. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sad I missed that. So it was fighting with the Gorg. I just had the enemy wrong. The enemy was a Delpha. Okay. So we have. No, oh, that's the wrong one. That's the the weird thing. Uh, we have on a rock where travelers often take a break when thirsty. We have looking at Kizar, where the snow meets the sea. That could be a fun one. Uh, at the starting point of Disan climbing path. Yep, nice simple one. Find the blue trees born from the Elwi essence. Very cool. Uh, guarding the road towards Polana. Chilling on the edge of my dis deserted world. That took a second there. <laughs> Brain was doing something else above the fake temple. West of a volcano, near some weird plants. <laughs> Even the developers looking like, who made this? What weird plant is this? Um, you can see me all alone on the sea when walking along the southeast coast. The smallest island located located north of Ima. And at long last, I'm ready to take my first step out of space and time. Excuse me? Uh, the blue tree one was missing just picked it up a minute ago awesome right well in in uh yeah it, in bonding with on a rock where travelers are taking a break when thirsty i'm gonna take a break i'm not thirsty but just for another reason so we'll be back in a couple of minutes but i'm just gonna take a break so i'm gonna let the audio play which means whipping up the volume really loud so you can hear it and i'm gonna bounce off all right see you in a second
Okay. Should we get back to it? Let's get back to it. Okay. Ortwin. The last one is is in the end game, not accessible before. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. So I'm guessing that's at the, the portal. Oh, PS5 is getting bored then. Welcome back. I'm here. <laughs> Alrighty. So that very last one. At long last, I'm ready to take my first steps. Excuse me, out of space and time. I'm guessing that's in the arena room then, at the very end. Uh, the smallest island located of Ima. Right, so we're back on the trail. On the trail, we blaze. Uh, let's go for this one. On a rock where travelers often take a break when thirsty. So, where's this one? Because I can't be asked to look for this. <laughs> I'm guessing it's like in the desert area, right? Because that could literally be anywhere. Like... There's so many stop-off areas or little like side things that I may not have come across. Look at all these paths. I'm not sure, but it must be in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go for the desert then. Let's hop on over to this Doka. And we'll follow the path because they're not going to be anywhere else. Alright, so the next car. Coast. This one. Close to one of the two oasis lakes. Fair, fair. Where am I going? I'm going complete wrong direction. Alright. Oh, Ristoka. Yeah, you're over there. for some oases in the desert that's that's the extra clues that we've been given thank you all all right so let's follow the path anyway it's quite a dangerous path this one going right through the enemy base but i'm sure it's fine i doubt there's no one back here ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, they all want to play. See you later, suckers. This is a very dangerous path. You could go past the Zeke dogs and stick out of the ground as well. Alright. Let's keep on going. It's a plant. And oh interesting, so this one's been kept destroyed. Okay, so first oasis I believe is kinda like over here. This is where the town is. So we'll glide around so we can see anything from the on the scanner first. Uh, and I believe the icons for the diary have kind of yeah have a um, like an additional middle section to their icon if I remember correctly it was all the front guys are here Boink. if it was this one I probably would have talked about the small little settlement here which I wonder if that's more cut content because it's a cool little town and you never guess who's in this town but an artist isn't that interesting or at least his den is I don't know if he's here is he outside? No, he's, he might be somewhere. Oh, he's up here, isn't he? I think. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Hello! Are you cut content? Reveal yourself! Ka ciao! Alright. Uh, yeah, plants. No diary. Okay, so that is. We can mark that one off and we'll head towards the other oasis, which is, I believe, where we helped out a chap. Correctly, it's kind of like 
over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's put down a marker. Woo! Alright, let's make our way to the second oasis. Past the Gork. The remains of the Gork, I should say. Alright, let's have a little look. The path does end here, so that does work out. Oh, this is a dangerous oasis. A little fly around the edge. See if we spot anything. It could be. Ha 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 ha! That is not what I was looking for. <laughs> it was two icons in one another. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like the clue, if it was for this one, the clue would be like a deadly oasis. Because this is a. I mean, this one would be an oasis. I, mean, I think it is. Terrible oasis. Ugh, shut up. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't like that. That was just annoying. Okay. Um, let's actually try these rocks over here. No, I don't think there's anything here. So I can see all the icons. Can't see any weird ones. Close to one of the two oasis lakes. And the clue was travelers stop here for a cheeky break. I believe that's the exact clue. Wording said so cheeky break. So let's get find the path again. Is about here. We'll see if there's anything around here. So that goes down to that oasis. Okay. Whoop. Mm. I don't actually remember where this one was. Well, shit. <laughs> oh. We just witnessed something happening there. I think that... That Z-Dog ate a Kraken base. I missed that. Oh, come on. It's alright, Cutter. Calm down. Alright, let's stick to the path, I think. That's a good idea. We'll just see where this takes us. Because what I would imagine is if it's not an oasis, then it's going to be um, like a an official stop or something. Like there'll be an asset there that is built to be like a water spot. Which then means it could be anywhere. It's not the desert. Terrifying road to go down as a talent get ripped apart. You know, whilst we're here, we may as well just go to the Disan one. The base of the area where you climb up, which I'm kind of surprised I didn't find it when I started that climb. Hello, Mr. Frog. So the clue for this one, now we're changing up a little bit, um, bah, 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 bah. at the starting point of Disan, I guess that's supposed to be an S there, climbing path. So this 
I remember correctly, this is the climbing path. And if there's nothing obviously down here other than a fey plant, I can't see anything else appearing uh, on the scanner. So let's walk up and see what we find. Okay, there it is. <laughs> there it is up there. Oh, I just had my backpack reach there. Let's get a little different angle. One, two, there we go. Ba ba ba. Well, that's disappointing. Ba ba! Nice. Okay, that one was nice and easy. Maybe we just do easy ones for good content for this video so people will actually be entertained watching this back. <laughs> Uh, looking at Kazar where the snow meets the sea, that's a very good one. Snow meets the sea, um, so it's just going to be around here, probably, I imagine. So in that case, let's go to Hills of Ikira. Iki -ki -ki. Fly through, do we do. Where the snow meets the sea. I'm guessing there can be only one part. Definitely snowy here. We're facing down here. It's looking. So there's Kizar. Are we looking for a stream, maybe? Because I don't think the snow is actually on the ground anymore. So maybe we need to find a river that goes down from the mountain. Well, first let's 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 scour the, the coastal path for either a stream or just actually a part where it is still snowing. Because um, yeah, that clue. Looking at Kizar, where the snow meets the sea. So it's looking at Kizar. I assume the sea, obviously the sea is the sea. It doesn't go up and it becomes fresh water. So. Ooh, it's <laughs> right, let's fly around the coastline. We're doing the Orwin trail now. <laughs> Stop. Either. All right, let's get up there. Oh, there we go. Okay, still pretty snowy in here. So it could mean this valley. What do we think? Do you think we're going to go a bit higher? If it is here. I think it's. I mean, I assume it's literally when the snow is touching the water and facing Kazar. That makes sense to me, based on the clue. I'm uh, pretty sure I found the oasis spot. It's one with the painter. Oh. <laughs> what was that one? So, this. We do have snow. So. Potentially along the coast here. It's hiding away. Did we go too far? Hmm. I feel like we have gone too far. I feel like that's the only place where the snow is. I have a little look around the corner, but it doesn't look like it. And my scanner did not pick up the icon for the diary at the bottom here, so I'm feeling mm, it's going to be up higher. So let's get a bit more boost. Uh, usually you have a better overview on the Galenta. Yeah, true. I just don't really like riding the Galenta. 
<laughs> it's far more fun doing this way. Uh, maybe search for those weird plants. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to do the snow one. It's up here. I assume the snow one is here somewhere. Where the snow meets the sea, looking at, at that. Bizarre. So I thought it would have been like a waterfall or something. Uh, yeah, I think you're on the right spot, generally. Yeah, but the snow is like back there, so I'm thinking like... It's not down below. I guess it's just going to be up top here, maybe, or somewhere. Because the snow is still here, happily. And nothing's appearing on the scan when I'm just low, so... Maybe we just get to the land up top. Two, three, oh gosh. Just like that. where the path enters a cave. The path enters a cave? In this area. Let's get back up there. I just get back up top first. <laughs> Take it. I can hear something. But I don't know if it's just the remains of the the trail where it is. <laughs> there. Yeah, you the wrong target, bird. This is So we're we looking for like an off path or something. Snow that's close to Kizar. This one's a bit tricky. I think I found it, but follow the path in the cave first. So when you say path, are you talking about the path in the game or like an additional path? Uh, if you don't know that spot. Yeah, like, <laughs> give me a bit more of a breakdown of the path. Because in my perspective, I'm on the path right now. Uh, and when you say cave, I'm guessing you mean like a proper cave rather than just like going through the, the rocks. Uh, that's the path, but head east. Okay. okay. 
because it just suddenly stops being snowy, unless around the corner it gets snowy again. Another one that was here, maybe. There's a pressure flare, that's the cave area. Diary isn't here, though, it's north of that. North of the It's north of the castle's path. What? So... Do I go up? Do I go down? Um, might be where the path enters the cave. In that area. Hello. What are you doing up here? <laughs> so that's where the path entered the cave. And the clue... I only want to show you the nice area. The diary is way west from there, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, somewhere high up. Somewhere high up where the water meets the the other place. Right, so we need to go uh, way west from here, north of the Doka. So, so the Doka, so oh, we'll, we'll place it on the Gork part. The, the Gork remains for now. Speed up, Glenta. <laughs> it's so cool. This thing barreling across the sky. Come on. There you go. Alright. Help me. But it's somewhere where the snow meets the sea. Doesn't make literal sense because we've been down there. Uh, oh, is it just going to the gorg? This bound pass doesn't work either. Maybe my game just looks glitched at the moment. Still, it still needs to make sense with the hint. Uh, close to the Orm Trail starts. Got it, yeah. Oh, I think I can see it on the map. Oh! Well, I like... I like the area. Very cool. Being attacked. Where the snow meets the sea. I mean... If you're a poetic imbecile, uh, <laughs> then sure, the snow is touching the sea. But I don't know. For me, that just that means there's like the end of water. Actually, you know, the snow, the snow melts, touches the sea. You know, that r r runs into it, kind of thing. Is that's I don't know. I'd say like way up high, looking across the waters to or whatever. <laughs> okay, because so some of these hints are so like yeah. 
that's exactly what it is. I was like, I don't know, wood shack near 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 a temple. It's like there it is in the wood shack near a temple. The others are like, once someone's thirst has been quenched, the diary shall show it to them. It's like, well, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> there was clearly two different writers doing the, the hints for this uh, these things. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got the the blue trees born from the elvi essence, guarding the road to Palana. Guarding the road towards Palana. Well, I'm quite close to that one, so we may as well try that one. The road towards Palana. So that could be one, two, three, or four routes. Well, once we're here, we may as well start this one. So let's start from that point. I need to turn off some of these. I wish these waypoints would disappear once you get to them. Okay. Oh, Galenta! Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Okie dokie. Guarding the path, which makes me want to believe that it means it's going to be on something that resembles kind of like a fortress or something like that. We've been going for two hours now. A respectable two hours. Okay, let's get off here. Alright, we are on the road to Poland. So when I say guarding the road, I'm thinking we're we talking about something like a bridge. Because that kind of makes sense for like guarding, or we would have found this one. I've been here a few times. Also, when the game catches up with me, um, this place is now covered in Talon, who are like walking around from the point and everything. It's really flipping cool. And you'll find them like preying on these things and everything. I think once the game catches up with us. Like if I start walking, I'll probably start seeing them. But it's really cool. I really like that detail. But then again, it makes me think that I would have found it if it was on this area of the park. Because this one, because like I said, I've been here before. I did a little exploration around here. Hey, he likes me. <laughs> yeah, look at this area. It's like the Talan here cut down the trees and are making a like yeah, making like a little shack for the lads. So cool. Hello, hello. What's going on in here? Oh no! It's one of those people. Uh, come on. Right, so we're going to follow this path. Ooh. Rock crumbling. Ooh, I think we've got it out there. Yeah, that makes sense. Watchtower. This is really cool. I've not been to this area before. This is so pretty. the stairs. What's up guys? Chaps? But yeah, look how many Talan there are. They're just like all the pilgrims on their way to Palana. I love that so much. How have I not been to this place before? Is that someone sitting down? <laughs> I'm having a little stop there, boys. Wait, how do you get up to that area normally? If you're like not need the jetpack. Flippin' heck. How have I not seen this area? It's so cool. This is super beast like. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is really cool. I would like a bit more um, uh, stuff that makes sense inside of a a Talam world, like some uh, footpath going up to here or something, just something tiny, you know. Unless there is, I mean, if there was like, I'd say, like maybe the guards have to get up there by um, Ventilope or something, but there's not even a Ventilope perch, really. So that would be cool to have. I'm being very nitpicky, but it's because I love the world. Cool. Woo. All right, well, I'm going to do a little exploring anyway, because there's a couple of cool little buildings here. being fussy again there's no ladder how is anybody getting up there <laughs> come on guys oh hang on can they 
get in? No, I'm not allowing that. Uh, do you know that Jet Sprint automatically follows the path? Oh, it like locks onto it? Oh! Well, so it does. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> So that's why we see the path then. So I, when I first saw the trailer, I thought it was like a waypoint. Like, you know, you play somewhere down, it shows you the way to it. But, um, yeah. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. That was pretty cool. All right, here's the same asset, but somewhere empty and cold. These are cool, though. I like the added design of, like, these things here either being, like, gutters or the horns. So you could... If there's an if it's, oh, no, maybe not, but like if there's an apparatus in here you could blow into, and that would be the big guard to if any enemies coming. Which uh, outside of humans in the Talan world, I'm not really sure what that would be. Other Fabian, you should be here and looking at this stuff. <laughs> Come back from cooking. Yeah, did I? Wait, are we in plan? Oh, we are in plan now. Okay, so that is the plan, Dirk. Okay. I know where I am now. Yeah, I did, I've just never explored those buildings before. That was really cool. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Alright, next one. Beep, 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 beep. So we got that. Dog. The oasis wants to go to. Find the blue trees are born from the Elwee essence. So that's going to be near the water temple, I imagine, or near a waterfall. And I, I've been to the blue trees before. There's like a little forest of them. So that's probably only around there. So that's fine. Um, chilling on the edge of my deserted world. Above the fake temple. West of the volcano. Okay, so there's two there we can do near to each other. You can see me all alone on the sea when walking along the southeast coast. The smallest island located north of Ema. At long last, I'm ready to take... Oh, that's that one. Wait, did we get the funny... Did we get the funny plant one that you mentioned? Or is that what you, is that what you were saying? We have found that one. Uh... I swear that was all about like odd looking plants. But I think we must have accidentally gotten that one. Oh no, there it is. West of the volcano near some blue plants. Um, let's do those two. Yeah, let's go to this one. This should be fun. Fake <laughs> temple. Cool. Right, so there is only one volcano in this game, so. Um. <laughs> so we have two volcanoes I'm guessing it's talking about that one because that's the Fey Temple what was the exact clue I've already forgotten that's my brain in action ladies and gentlemen uh, oh, steady on above the Fey Temple west of a volcano Near some weird plants. That should be a fun one. So I'm guessing here-ish, I guess. Because if it was here, it would say between volcanoes. So let's go for that one. Also, you were saying that it was near this one with the painter, but I can't see anything on the. Uh... Was this the one you were talking about with the oasis? With the painter, so uh, unless that was an another one, and I've gotten it. Oh wait, is it up there? There it is. Take it back. Unless these are the weird plants. But that's not west of the volcano. That's south. So I'm guessing it's still the way. Let's just check. Still there. <laughs> See what one went. Yep, yeah, there we go. Cool, that one's done. Nice. All right, let's go find some 
Funny plants. Will they make us laugh? Will they make us cry? Who knows? I was say, it should be pretty easy to find because there's like nothing else on the side of this mountain. <laughs> Lenny Moore has liked my uh, tweet saying that I'll be live. So Lenny, if you're in here, say hi. If not, hi Hayden. <laughs> You've done an amazing job on the score. <laughs> okay, I feel like if it was down by the coast, it would probably have said that. Unless there are some funny plants down by the coast. And we are now a bit further west of the volcano. So let's go up a little Jeez. Let's go up a little higher. Let's start from there. funny plants. I see something there. There it is. Oh! Oh. Well, this has changed things up quite a bit. A robot had it. One that is still active. But he's got a bottle of possibly Lampe. Have we got a sentient robot here? Oh my. This is one to add to the sheet of Easter eggs all winter. Let's add that. I've got a little um, document that I've been putting together with the Easter eggs. <laughs> uh, robots uh, at the rim of the volcano. Yes. Lump over with bottle in hand. Also have diary. Done. Cool. That's a fun one. I like that. Whoa, steady! Stupid place, they. Oh. There's another one. Ow, what's that? There's two robots. Are they lovers? Two lovers trying to escape the military facility. But they didn't make it out. What was at the top of the temple volcano? Uh, we haven't been there just yet, so we're off there next. Uh, there is a shrine there. Audrey oh, Park, West Um I mean, we're off there next. I'm assuming it's just a diary. Da da da! That looks so cool. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ooh, steady, steady. Ooh. All right. There we go. Uh, no, it's just a diary up there. That was the easy one. Cool. Very cool location. Okay. We are making some ground. We've only got, was that five, four? One, two, three, four, and five. So that one you're saying was, um, yeah, that one's in the the dome, I imagine. Um, so that's fine. We can we can finish with that one. Find the blue trees, bond of essence. Okay, that's a little further down. Chilling on the edge of my deserted world. How about that one? Whereabouts is that? I'm curious for that one. Uh, you can see me alone on the sea when walking along the southeast coast. That just sounds like going down to Margate for the day. <laughs> so that one's going to be down here somewhere. Okay. There we go. The small island location north of Emo. I think we're all going... Other than that one, chilling on the edge of my deserted world. I guess that one 
would be like a that one would be a what you call it like I'm not sweating enough Ooh. sorry chaps <laughs> oh you just referring to the the diary entry at the top of the temple this is at the top of the proper temple and I see nothing Woo, cool temple. <laughs> so, chilling on the edge of my deserted world. I'm trying to think, yeah, I'm trying to think of like, what areas are kind of like, settlements, more than one, that have been, like no one uses anymore. I can't think of any off the top of my head. I mean, there could be, it could be up and as you go up with the sun, maybe. Is there any there? Um, but for now, we're going to go back down and we're going to find the ones uh, around here. And we'll start with the uh, blue forest, which is around here somewhere. So we'll get to the closest ochre and make our way to the heights of Adon. Adoron. I probably picked the South Sar ones early. Don't remember that part well. We've got you. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Nice and hot. <laughs> this is one thing the game was definitely missing was large beasts. I think that's that's definitely yeah. There's remains of large beasts, and you can argue the whole like Glenter angle, but they're skull gone. Um, but you know, in, in the Outcast, we had the Akon Akaronda, whatever it's called, um, the big snake serpent in Okar, and then we had the, the Gorgon. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't have any big beasts in this one really, other than the upscaled uh, Sankra, uh, Sankra, Senecta. Okay, blue forest. I'm trying to remember where it is where it's just blue trees. Because there is an area where it is all just blue. I think it's it is somewhere. Uh the Garandar were too small for you? Yeah. I don't know, I, the, the if I'm gonna be honest, the Garandar I mean We've known about them and what they look like in their fight. I mean, I, I battled that thing back in 2021, so... Uh, 2022, I can't remember now. <laughs> I think it's 2022. So, I... And, and also... Obviously, it's a... It's an updated version of the snake serpent thing that was going to be an outcast to the Lost Paradise. I kind of prefer that design, if I'm honest. So... Yeah, the Garandars are a bit too... I don't know, they're just like, we already have monsters that stick out of the ground and shoot acid. <laughs> we already have those, so it was just like a bigger version of them, so it just felt... I don't know, that was that was probably the most underwhelming part of the game, I'd say, is the... Not, not the most, I don't know. But yeah, I wasn't that fussed by them, to be honest. There you go, that's my outcast. Uh, a new beginning hot take. <laughs> I'm not, giant I'm not fussed about the Garandars. <laughs> right, so this is purple. Where is the blue forest? It does exist, I've seen it. None of my dreams. It could just be the Elish Temple. It's going to turn to more pine based looking trees here. I say pine based, not close enough. Blue forest, where are you? Hmm. 
You know what? This is actually a jump for the Galenta. I like the Galenta. It's a big beast, but you just don't fight it. Hello, big beauty. <laughs> All right, my friend. We are looking for a blue forest. No, not that one. That's that's purple. And I don't remember it being so close to the temple, but born of Elwi. Could just mean it's near the water. Clicking purple again. Oh no, it probably is this one. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Right, we just got to look around here then. Thank you. <laughs> Dramatic. Look, this place is beautiful. Right. Um, oh, I think I just saw it. Yep, there it is. There's the Galenta coming around. Such a cool shot. There we are. Giddy. I found that one all by myself. Right. <laughs> okay. So the next one we're going to go for. This one's going to be a hard one, I think. Chilling in my deserted world. You can see me all alone on the sea when walking along the southeast coast. The smallest island located north of Ima. So we are going literally two ends. Oh, actually, I'm not really close. The smallest island located north of Ima. I mean, that's. I'm guessing that's what it means. Those ones. Yeah, north of Ima. Okay, well let's take the let's take uh, big boy. Yeah, it's it's funny. Overall, I only ended up doing the um, convoy destructions twice in the game because it just I just kept falling through them. <laughs> All the other times, oh, I put down so many waypoints. Uh, let's clean it up a little bit. found these ones maybe it's because in the demo I did this area so when it came to the actual game I kind of chilled out a little bit there Did my scan reach this far <laughs> Zima, North Vima, talk about these ones. Also, what does it class as an island? Over a collection of corn. These are ruins. I feel like I'm going to have trouble with this one. So technically that's not islands. Maybe it's talking about this area then. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks game. <laughs> really? Here we go. Okay, gonna push forward on the stick. Would have thought I would have known that. How did I miss it on this one? I mean, I guess I didn't really know about the the icon uh, until today. So, are you gonna work? Okay, that one's working. No, it's the 
skip an end of the trail. <laughs> okay, right. What is the game saying when it says island? Is it being silly? I'm like, well, this is an island. North of Ema, smallest island. I didn't see anything when I was there. This is the other writer for the clues, isn't it? The smallest island located north of Ema. So we're talking about everything above Ema, right? Located north of Ema. So I would assume you were talking about these things. You could be talking about these things. You could be talking, but that would be like northeast of the blooming thing. It's annoying. Mm. Does anybody in the chat have any clues for this one? Or any ideas? Because I'm, yeah. Also, apologies for my squeaky chair. I really need to get some WD-40 on it. Why would you say North of Ema? Such a strange one. They didn't mean these exact ones. And the smallest island, maybe closer to the Gandar temple. If it is those ones, then they should have said. <laughs> it should have blooming said these ones, because that's that's not north. That's north northwest. Martin, I don't know if you're in the chat, but uh, Grassin, who wrote these, uh, <laughs> who wrote these, these hints. That's why I don't like this though these kind of things because it's like like you can say north of Ema and it's like everything's north of Ema. <laughs> it could be really sort of cheeky with it. Dispolished island. What does it class as an island? I don't see any icons. Whoop. It's full. Oops. I've got the controls then. If the map has two islands, I don't see any icons on this one. They talk about this little thing. That looks like an island. That looks like a desert island. That looks like a fun island. Yeah, there we go. It's got me that one. Woo. Classic palm tree. I like that. <laughs> right, so let's have a little nick pit. Yeah, it's definitely northwest. <laughs> cool. I like that one. I mean, I like the location of it. I don't like the clue. The clue, no. Or oh, was this you had to do the clues by any chance? You seem to be supporting the clue writer quite a bit. You're on his side or their side or her side. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go for, I think it's just the coastal, oops, the coastal one, right? Then the edge of the world or whatever. And then the space one. You can see me all alone on the sea when walking along the Southeast coast. Now, Orwin, can you uh, confirm that when he says Southeast coast, he is talking about the coast of Sapa, basically. 
I'd assume that's what that is. Can you confirm that before I go over there? <laughs> Instead of going over here somewhere, because that's technically a southeast coast. Um, hey, hey, I love the idea of the clues, but maybe I like them because I didn't actually suffer through them. <laughs> Uh, yes, east part of the south coast. Lovely. East part. Oh, okay. Let's go to a doka. Like that's the closest one. And I. Don't get me wrong, I like a good clue. Cam and I hate these things. It's just funny when like half, like some of the clues are uh, very literal, and then some are like, yeah, on the edge of a deserted world. It's like, okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like nothing comes to mind for like a deserted area. Deserted world, you know, you could maybe say about like sand or something, but what makes something deserted is that something used to be there and is no longer there. I'm trying to think. That could mean some areas of, of Desan, maybe. There's some buildings that are deserted there. That could, that, that could probably be the best bet, to be honest. Like, I think that's probably a, a good shout. Alright. Along the coast. On its Larry. Ooh, that wasn't it, that was it. No, just a plant. Oh, by myself. On the coastline. Uh, yeah, the one has me. That one has me confused. Probably south of Saab. I didn't find another spot, and I picked it up long ago. Are you, do you think you'll be making any um, entries or making any sort of guides to where to find stuff? So I know you're doing the module part one, but is there going to be like a an enhanced one for the um, the diaries? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if someone's already made one. To be honest. Ooh, just this looks like it could be a good spot but I think it's more on the coastline isn't it yeah okay back down to the beach let's go to the beach that's it to the bottom Uh, there definitely are videos, maps, and guides for the diaries. Okay. There, there is something a bit nicer about like not looking at a, a guide, but being guided <laughs> by someone. It still feels kind of like I did it. Whoop! Oh, I was so close to it. Oh wait, that's not it. <laughs> that's a plant. Uh, someone from the press even leaked screenshots of the internal map or in. Oh, as in like the... There it is again. Out to the ocean. Do you mean like the fully complete map? Why would someone leak that? What do you think Outcast is a game that like, people are craving leaks for? <laughs> the QA debug map. Oh. I did not see that. Uh, the whole battalion, That's definitely huh? the one thing that I've been sort of like not a part of, I guess, is the, the Discord. So I imagine that's something to shed on there. Uh, I had overlays for diaries, module parts and stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah. 
you another plant. Yeah. Oh, shit. Has that rock been fixed yet? Nope, this rock hasn't been fixed yet. <laughs> I found this in the demo. <laughs> Pretty sure I said so. about it. The hollow rock. Uh, now not shared. The full map is still internal and screenshots not the dogs. Okay. Right, let's get back out of the, the hollow rock. We didn't see anything. Oh, did I just see the... Uh, have I gone too far for this entry? I feel like maybe I didn't. Or is it going to be one of those things where it's like... It didn't actually mean the coast. South coast of the east coast. Got you. So where I was before then? Just a little further along? How did you not find it? I don't know. I thought I, like from where I was, it seemed. I'm guessing it was really close to where I was then. So I'm following the icon. I'm just I can I'm find full. these plants. But I'm full. Maybe not as east as you expected. So, so I went up to that tree over there because that looked like it would be a good spot for it, but it wasn't up there. So that's when I turned around and came this back this way. So let's just like slowly make our way up here. Can't see any icon. Then it just goes to cliffs. Goes on a drill. He hasn't got it, has he? This is another painter. I remember finding him in the... Yeah, no, he hasn't got it. Check the cliffs. I mean... In my opinion, I was doing a pretty good job checking the cliffs. There you go, painter. You're... Now it's you're, you're free of the truck. Alright, so let's scoot along the cliffs then, which I was already doing, to be honest. Alright, let's start here and come. angle here so we should find it if it appears as an icon and I'm guessing this is like quite a flat area here There's something white up there but no it's just a texture so I'm guessing it's the other side of this tree then if it was literally just the other side When you say cliffs, do you mean the rock face of the cliff, or do you mean like the cliff edge? Oh, I'm out of juice. Go further. We're, we are almost in south coast territory here. If it's not in this part here, <laughs> then that should be South Coast. Whoever wrote these flipping clues needs to buy themselves a compass. <laughs> oh, bounced off. Okay. If it's on that island, so help me. B. 
bird egg. Bird egg. Ooh. I don't remember doing this one. Right, so. Before we collect this diary entry, let's just read that clue again, shall we? You can see me all alone on the sea when walking along... Okay, you know what, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I take it back, that was an okay one. Just literally just southeast though, like... Yeah. And then maybe we should have said southeast cliffs or something, southeast coastal cliffs. Because, I don't know, when I see coast, I'm thinking more beach or something, you know? I don't know, I'm getting sassy for that one. Um, I take it back, that was an okay one. I don't want that one. Right, so, very nice place. We just have two more to go. Chilling on the edge of my deserted world. Fish, full case of lampe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who was here? That's the real question. Lots of flipping heck. Collector of all fish. He hasn't even cut the blooming trees that are growing in his shack. How does he? He's got to be a rock climber then. Maybe it's a she. Could have escaped from um, Kizar. Actually, that's quite a long distance to go from Kizar. <laughs> Still could have. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and a tree with uh, fruit as well. So, a deserted world and very dangerous stairs. I mean, I guess so. We have to slip down to him. Going back up is going to be quite hard. I still feel like we haven't seen a Talan like full jump in this game. I'm still not sure. Oh, wait, there's a little ladder there. That's cool. I like that a lot. Hell yeah. So someone thought about getting into this place. They didn't think about getting to those watchtowers in Saar. Eh, not Saar. Uh, Palana. Uh, there were much less details of my early version. I'm still discovering a lot of this. Cool. That's good that you've got something more to, to see, though. Right. Okay. Let's have a real good head scratch about this last one. Second to last one. Slash, do we just look online? <laughs> Tell you what, how about, if you're up for it, you look online and then you give me better clues. How about that one? <laughs> so this would be for entry number, I've got no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, ninety, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, entry number 25, chilling on the edge of my deserted world. I'm going to head to Disan, to the lower area, I think. Because, yeah, like I said, that feels like it's the most... It makes sense, at least. Oh, come on, I thought I'd land one of the ledges. Alright, we're doing it this way, then. Oh, for goodness sake. We already land in the sea. This flipping Move it, Slade. They're coming. Skiing mode. It's stuck on like imaginary objects. Okay, let's let's 
go for the song. Stoker. Uh, southwest corner of Saar has one. Probably that. Okay, well, here I am. Um, the southwest one. But this is my. This is. Yeah, this is what I was thinking at least. I feel like I got one here. Before. Like I. Yeah, I feel like I found one here. Because it's one of those cases where it's like chilling on the edge of my deserted world. It's like, why does it say my? You know? Is that the diary talking to itself? And I guess the the writer, he is from. Uh, is he? He's from Procreana, so we're talking about somewhere there, maybe. I feel like I found one of those before. And I was just wondering. Scam me, bitch! Oh, you rap scam me. And if it's edge, it's gotta be up high, right? Chilling on the edge. Small island in front of the fallen pillar. The fallen pillar. There it is. Chilling on the edge of my skeleton. We have found all 32 and I've got scrabble diaries. Have I? <laughs> uh, southwest corner, and that's the real southwest corner, not the few writers one. <laughs> I mean, it said I got all the diaries, but I haven't. I've still got the one to find in space, so... We're going to find that one by doing the mission. And then we can read all of them. But I guess it means I've got all of them because I can't then. Yeah. So what we're going to do... But, that, but that's all the diaries I can get while still exploring the world. Kind of a funny one, that you can't read the whole story. Do we do a whole read through of the story? That's going to take a while. Do we do that? Do we read Anatok's story? That's a lot of reading. Let's do it. Hello, and welcome to Under the Moons. We are... Hang on. There was an issue with a vanishing diary, and the last one is miserable, so the achievement only checks are 32 for safety. <laughs> Wait, so is the last... The la is the last one... Like, is it in the space station area? Like, when you're in that dome and you can look... Excuse me, you can look out over Adelpha? Is it in that one? Or is it in, like, Kizar? Because... Clue-wise, it would make sense if it was in Kizar. Uh, the, the space dome thing, sorry. Not Kizar. That would make less sense. Uh, it's in Kizar. Oh my god, really? Okay. Well... That's annoying, because I don't really want to do that. <laughs> but that's the end of the story. Or is it? Or is it like a little end, fun little thing? Because if so, we'll read the story now. We'll end the stream with the story. And then I, in my own time, I can go and find that one. 
because the the last entry is called now and it just ends with master anatol because everyone else ends with other ones <laughs> these in order <laughs> oh gosh well let's do it let's 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 go for read through and see what happens hello and welcome back to on the moons we have collected most of the diaries all the diaries but one long story uh today we're going to be reading through every single one for the story of anatok to see what has happened to this guy in his search for the the ancients so here we go um right the first entry ceremonies to master on the first moon i looked myself in the dano library to inscribe the sake inscribe yeah i'm doing this right inscribe the sacred rituals onto scrolls that will serve future masters of ceremonies for generations i'm leaving a long journey i'm leaving on a long journey perhaps never to return these scrolls are essential to my legacy the conversion ceremony as a simple ritual the master just has to trust the yods and chant the melia song to achieve it if the master doesn't remember the lyrics he can always simulate an old language of his invention and credit the yods <laughs> young talan are so excited about the discovery of their essence that they don't listen anyway the alme the alame i can never do that one right uh, never leaves kazar so they won't notice <laughs> cheeky however the reverting ceremony is quite difficult uh, quite difficult because every essence is so different and each ritual must reflect the life and accomplishments of the reverting talan empathy is key talk to their families and friends research your subjects i have discovered there are many reverting ceremonies as you know i'm not going to read these out this is going to take forever um <laughs> this is going to take a long time to read i don't know how interesting this is going to be like i wouldn't if i personally i wouldn't watch someone read these out or would i i don't know that's the easter egg joke about the latin lyrics right that's not a bad one um i'll continue anyway uh, one moon wouldn't be enough to transcribe them all but one moon is all i have therefore i shall invent a new title to delegate the burden maybe darashams could use keepers to keep D darashams uh the position requires a bit more detail but a good keeper shall at least have exceptional calligraphy skills to assist the master of ceremony in his transcribing endeavors so be it bless the yods for their holy inspiration master anatok on the first moon essences are well okay on the second I'm, I'm, i don't know if i'm gonna do a voice either we'll see on the second moon i sat on the edge of a swamp to reflect on the utilities of a second well of essence this is a strange idea, but what would happen if the Doakers went down? The inspiration came to me in a recurring nightmare that I am still trying to understand. I wouldn't know how to do this, though. The ancients didn't share that knowledge with us Talan. No gateways connecting the villages of Adelpha means no returning return of the ancients to our world. All doors to the Yod Dam, to the Yod Dam, to, to, to Yod your dam would be sealed yod's inspiration works yod's inspiration works in mysterious ways with neck and i find myself reflecting upon concepts i can't possibly fathom what is the your dam am i saying that right because people yeah exactly but there's so many people keep saying your dam it in this thing so that's why my brain goes to the your dam your is it just my name but with yod in front of it your dam why is it haunting me in my sleep like a rest relentless hazardous i won't rest until i find the answers to these questions but my eyes are so heavy master anatok on the second moon swamp rider shall i go full uh, like talan later that moon i woke up to a twanha licking my feet it is uncommon to find a twanha in this region it is even more uncommon to take on afternoon naps in a swamp. 
Coincidence? I don't think so. The yachts want me to spend the rest of the moon learning how to ride at Twanha like a true Bonbard boy, just in case the Daokos go down one day. A master of ceremonies can't be stuck in one place or his inspiration would fade away like the smell of stinky feet in water. I must prepare. Even late that moon, I learned how to get swamp mud off my clothes without clean water. The tongue of a Twanha is a wonderful thing. The back of a Twanha isn't. I can't write. I can't write with so many broken bones in my body. Oh no. I'm dragging myself to the closest Shamas and will continue my pilgrimage on foot. This guy's thighs got smashed by the Twanha. Um... Hi all, just passed to say hello, but I won't stay to avoid spoilers and having fun. Hello, Joe! Uh, we are literally going through the diary entries, so it's it's technically not spoilers for the full story, just someone else's story. So feel free to stay, but it's going to be very confusing uh, <laughs> if you do. <laughs> uh, probably Yodam with an A like an arse. Sorry, I couldn't come up with a better example. Yodar, Yodar, Yodar. Anyway, Sleepy Hollow. On the third moon, I chased the Kamini away with the help of the Essence Vine. I can finally take the whole measure of this tormented place, buzzing with hazardous, from time immortal, trapped in the yod-forsaken hollow tree. For thirty moons straight, I reverted hazardous. I abstained from eating, drinking, and sleeping, until I succumbed to a holy trance, from the bottom of my four essences. I opened my third eye and saw a path the yods laid out in front of me all along. With that knowledge, I shall never return to Palana. Instead, I will dedicate my humble life to uncovering ancient secrets. It is the belief beyond beliefs where Talan's salvation rise, resides. Sorry. Please, the yods, I am no longer blind to their true nature. I must rest here and now before I can go further. Master Anatok on the third moon. This guy's been busy. Like, from. He was what? Like, thinking about opening up an essence well on the first or second day. Now he's like. Trying to find the ancient secrets. There you go. Jumps to 33 moons. So, was that. Because he talked about doing that for 30 days, right? Anyway. A tale of two rivers. On the 30 food third moon. My third... Also, how are we counting moons? Is it just about when the moon rotates, so it's like they count it from a certain crater? Or do they count it from, like, night and day? Because I always thought it was, like, a night and day cycle. Because they say cycles as well, which I imagine is, like, around the suns. Anyway. Let me know in the chat what you think. On the 33rd moon, my third eye opened again. I saw an unusual place. A fork between two rivers. I spent a complete moon dedicating, sorry, deciding which river I should follow, then embarked on my longest pilgrimage to date. I followed the chosen river upstream to the distant temples of Shamazar, oh. over the mountains of Motozar, across the untamed lands of the south, where no Talan can survive without the nourishment of the essence. Somewhere along the way, I must have turned at an invisible co crossroad, because more than a thousand moons has risen, have risen since my departure, and I have returned to the place where it started through the path of the second river. When did I change my course? Did the yards trick me or teach me a valuable lesson? Did I ever leave this place? How can a river lead you to another without a fork? This place hasn't changed. But I have. Maybe the path to the ancients is not made of wet sand, cold snow, and burning stones. Bless the yards for guiding me through inner and outer journeys to their wisdom, hidden wisdom. Master Anatok on the 33rd moon. I think the rotation of the moon, but I have nothing to base that on yet. He just said, talked about the. I have. Uh, because more than a thousand moons has risen since my departure. So they talk about moons rising there. And thousands. But he's on his 33rd moon. So. 
That helps. Unless the next one then jumps a thousand. It doesn't. 97 moons. Shade of Faith. On the 97th moon, I saw a shadow in the Gandhar temple. But I cannot tell if it is a memory of the past or a vision of the future. In the present moon, it should have the shape of the sigh that casts it. But that silhouette is nothing I have ever seen. My research indicates that the ancients must have stopped praising the Yods at one moment. It didn't happen in one moon, but it started with Yod Ganda. And it made the Yod surprisingly angry. I found warnings against its death. The ancients seemed to think that the path to the Yods involved becoming their equal, and it would be faster to reach the goal if the four divine essences were diluted, perhaps scattered, in the sense of separating from the four concen oh, concentration concentration points in the scriptures. Sorry, concentration points. Full stop. In the scriptures, they stopped using the word temples and only referred to them as energy catalysts. Interesting. It seems they also banned the word essence from their writings. Could a loss in faith have terminated our predecessors? I refuse to believe this. Signs of the Yods are everywhere, but I must keep following the signs of the ancients. Where did they hide the energy they removed from the temples? And what have I done? Is Palana undermining the concept con concentration again? Under undermining the concentration of Yod's energy in the temples? Do we deplete it a little more? A little bit more with each codex change. Charge, sorry. I must stop using the ancient's terminology. I have a feeling it is my profane, profa profound, profane words that trigger the shadow I saw. Must Anatok from the 97th moon. Interesting. Very interesting. Because you could definitely, I mean, it's kind of like you could see it in, in our world where things that were being classed as hearing the voice of god or something like that has now been reclassified as your brain <laughs> being weird so it seems like this guy's or anatox at least first assumption was um yeah whoop shit shit where's that one <laughs> uh it seems that like the ancients possibly may have gone down that path as well and it ended their doom or something because they're not really advancing more outside of the yod stuff one last mention for the road. Meditation for the road. On the 99th moon, I cannot concentrate anymore. Not concentrate, but meditate. Meditate! I imagine the seed of the ancient's world coming to fruition in my head. Sprawling roots like the essence vine. And it's all I can think about. The Talan are looking at me, and they see the master of ceremonies. But I recently looked at myself in that lake close to Ima. I didn't recognize myself at all. That shadow, it obscures my traits. It is only a matter of moons before the others see it. I must limit contact with my fellow Talans and reflect deeper on my journey. Meditate. I didn't meditate on my journey. Instead, I used my last Zorkins to buy Lampe. Oh no. And I feel like I am half reverted now. I can't walk. I can't talk. I can't look other Talan in the eye because when they see it, it's following me, seeking to become me. But meditate, I must. So I found the perfect spot, closed my eyes, and slept for one moon straight. No one noticed, and all they saw was the Master of Ceremonies deeply meditating in the perfect meditation spot. The 99th moon. I'm going to stop uh, reading it in that voice because my voice, my actual voice will die all right yods bless the riss on the 132nd moon i reconciled with the taste of riss pilgrims must live from the charity of their fellow talans but when you slowly turn into a shadow who avoids socializing you eventually run out of zorkins i only need essential nutrients to feed my essence riss provides me more than enough my body should survive on faith alone but the more i progress with my journey the weaker my body becomes. Praise the Yods for Riss. 
Stumbling upon this beautiful wrist fields was unexpected because I had an entirely different idea of where I was. Disoriented, I can... Sorry, disorientation. Do yours have riz? No, riz! It's S's, it's like a root plant. <laughs> uh, disorientation can happen when you deprive your essence of food and your body of faith. I found Riss while looking for my next shrine, and the odds are scarce on their guidance. Did I offer? Did I offend them somehow? I haven't meditated in more than forty moons, but I have prayed. I believe I have prayed sincerely and devoutly. What kind of master would I be without the prayers? My words have changed. My thoughts have changed. They must have altered my prayers as well. I only hope no Talan will catch me or, yod forbid, follow my example. I am no example. I am not even a master anymore. I must please the Yods by releasing their trapped essences. Share Shrines are cages, you see. Shrines are cages, you see? Uh, but they are dif so difficult to get into. The ancients knew they what they were doing, but to what end? Did my predecessors leave Adelpha or revert here? The Yods would never terminate their creations, but what if they lose the power to revert it? Faith holds that power. If there were ways to subtract pure essence from the reverting process, the Yods would grow weaker and weaker over the cycles. I never could imagine my almighty creators would fight just to survive. And these are very uninspired thoughts. Your damn shadow! I must trust the Yods are merciful, except maybe for Yod Gunda. Anger and resentment would be Yod Fey's expected behavior. And it confuses me that Yod Gunda would adopt them. It messes up it messes up with my faith. But I will hold on. It's all one big trial. That's what it is. I should help restore the Yod's might and set them free. Only then will I uncover what happened to the ancients. And a talk on the 132nd moon. Wind waking. What? Wind winking. Okay. On the 163rd moon, I made third eye contact with the Beast Kingdom. Ooh. There are so many beasts on Adelpha, different from one another. They don't speak to Talan, but watch, learn, and remember. I am learning so much from the other beasts. They don't seem to notice my shadow except for the Psy. But the Psy won't tell much me but Psy won't tell much even though they must know more than any living being. They avoid contact and live in the abandoned ruins where no one lives. Like the temples. I don't feel comfortable wandering in them anymore. Especially after my experience with the shrines. I must decide what to do. I don't have the words on this very moon, but I, I must understand. And then decide what to do. I crossed paths with a pack of gamos the other moon and I saw it mirrored in my third eye. The shadow. It could be the fear of Yod Gundar itself. Could it be the fear of Yod Gundar itself? Gamors don't fear anyone alive or averted, but the third eye can turn bloodshot red when Yod Gundar decides it. Why would Yod Gandar express himself in the fade color? I wish beasts would communicate in words. Yod sounds like Gork in their language, which is strange because the other moon, a lost hazardous, told me something similar. I used to revert the Lost Hazarduses like it was second nature, but my shadow doesn't let me anymore. It took me forever to guide that one to a nearby Dooka. I surely hope it didn't get lost on its way back to Polana because that would feel ter uh, that was terrible guidance. I ran out of Hazardas moons ago. I don't think it will ever cr I will ever create more. I will get rid of that Gork to fulfill my promise to the Hazardus. Then I am done with that part of my life. Dang, this guy's going for a whole whole faith, uh, loss of faith. Anatok on the 163rd moon. Keep digging. 170 on the 178th moon, I found the sign that I was waiting for to write about my experience with the shrines. The point where the river ends before the ancients could finish it. It confirms some of the symbols I deciphered in one of the Elwi shrines. But it, Eloise shrines. But it's madness close. But it is madness cr clashing with my faith. What if Yod Elwi did not make rivers and lakes like they were taught in Kizar? Could they have been commissioned? 
So the Elwi essence follows flows all over Adelpha. There was a moon in the past where the ancients were not powerful beings, but imagining themselves as servants goes against everything my essence stands for. They did serve the Yod's design just like the Talan. Just like Talan do. But the tale speaks of slaves. I read that Yod Elwi tasked the ancients to create lakes and rivers on Yod Gandar's territory, and in return, Yod Elwi agreed for the island of Kizar to spawn in the middle of the ocean realm. This kind of bargaining is how Melia was balanced among the Yods, but the ancients brought Sankra. When this is all I can write for now, my shadow won't allow more. You little tease! And a talk on the 178th moon. The other side of Melia. On the 179th moon, I found the strength to decipher more of the ancient's tale I read. Back in the moon's immersed creatures called Galentas. Yeah, immense creatures called Galentas. Trumpet boy, big elephant, flying around. Uh, were used in the Yod's grand design of Adelpha. Tamed by the ancients, who would gently mount them, some of those fascinating beasts could crawl on the ground and leave... Oh, could, could, could crawl on the ground and leave furrows... Oh, okay. Crawl on the ground and leave furrows turned into rivers. So the Galenta could, like, burrow into the ground that would then create rivers. Interesting. Um, others could visit Yodkar's heavens without wings and release pumped water in the air with their impressive trunks. Water in the sky, water in the earth, earth in the water, and air everywhere. Which is why most Galentas can breathe and survive underwater. Hmm. Adelpha was almost perfectly balanced in Melia. But the Yod, but Yod Fey felt excluded and lost his temper. Thousands of ancients reverted when the first volcano appeared on Yod Gandar's land. The angry Yod made the fire-spitting mountain so high that it reached Yod Kar's realm. To balance Yod El Elwi's influence, Yod Fey created liquid fire and made lava as a destructive as destructive as water can be. The offended Yod demanded a demanded a <coughs> sorry demanded a new breed of Galenta that would turn prairies into arid deserts and canyons with their burning breath. The ancients feared those incendiary beasts more than anything and were never allowed to mount them hmm. i'm wondering if this is sort of like someone's understanding of how the world came to be you know like we had that with the sumerian stuff where they have tales um, or how landmarks came dro galenta that's what it sounds like wouldn't be surprised maybe that's what's missing <laughs> that's the missing beast <laughs> what is left what is left of the Glenters today? They sadly got extinct. The tale I read of unspeakable violence, a gruesome mutiny no Talan would ever be capable of, a beast massacre of gigantic proportions. Every shrine holds fragments of that horrible tale. Oh. So I made my choice. I will erase it. I won't let Sankra unchain our world again. I can't erase it from my memory though. Me and my shadow will always know. Until the moon we, re we revert, until the moon we revert. I must remember to burn this scroll before the moon comes, but my memory is not what it used to be. Ha! <laughs> well, he failed at that one. Uh, and I talk on the 179th moon. So this is interesting because they're telling a tale of like how the lands came to be, how the beast had a part in it, how the Yods were these beings or the elements that fought between one another, and the ancients were there the whole time. So it's as if like, yeah, the creators of the planet also had like, you can almost see it as like a slave race they built. So that's that's very um what are they called? The Anunnaki? Is that the ones the the dudes that created Earth and everything? And we were like the slave race they created to build all these things and everything, and then we kind of we rioted against them and they then disappeared off. I think that's a Mesopotamian level, I, th I think, of the Anunnaki. I might be wrong on that, but that's what it's reminded me of so far. A new cycle. Oh, what moon is this? I have been distracted. And I don't have enough scrolls and ink left to write every moon about my journey. When a Talan loses track of a moon, a cycle has passed. 
Track of Moons, a cyclist past. Okay. Outcast 3, Return of the Ancients. I'm calling it. Hell yeah. Cycles are cycles are a relative measure, you see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. They vary from talan to land. Okay, that's not helped. They vary from talan to land and depend on their focused level. But mistakes are not tolerated. You don't miss a moon or mess up with their count. Instead, you start a new cycle. When you start mixing up your cycles, it's time to revert. <laughs> So they don't have a calendar, do they? They're just like thousands of moons ago. I don't know, some time in the past. Oh my gosh. What? Who am I even talking to? Every Talan knows that. My shadow knows that too. Uh, there was someone here or I inhaled the fumes of too many bugots. The mushrooms that explode. I had a visitor asking me about these things. And this traveler was not a Talan. Oh, that's cool. It is all very confusing. Please, Yods Almighty, I haven't made my choice yet, but don't remove my sanity now. I won't be able to decide decide without it. Anatok, on the first moon of my 72nd cycle. <laughs> Damn, I miscounted moons again. Guess it's my birthday then. <laughs> Happy birthday! Woo. Wow. Interesting. I feel like we've gone further away from figuring out what they mean by moons and cycles. <laughs> Save by Synecta is a big one. On the 11th moon, I had to learn how to write again. I lost my writing arm and had to train the other from words with ink. <laughs> uh, something happened a few moons ago. I finally found that eruption I won't name. I made a promise to my last hazardous uh, so that it would revert in peace. But the scent of that plant, it smelt like corrupted essence. I won't ever forget it, and I hope I will never come across that abomination again. I touch it, and suddenly I couldn't think or speak like a civilized to Was that? Could he get gawked up? Civilized to land. I started to hate the ancients and everything they stood for. I became obsessed with dismantling the essence shrines and letting the powers of the Yods roam free. I even thought about setting fire to Palana or restoring the four temples to their greatness they had lost. Partially because of me. <laughs> There's something really funny about that. It becomes an arsonist. Touch Gork once, become an arsonist. I don't have I don't have those thoughts anymore. They were crawling up my writing arm. Its skin showed repulsive signs of an unknown disease I couldn't get rid of. Until I did. I did have it before it was too late and before it took my head. Did he come across some uh, some some twan heart that just sucked it off? Um, on that boat, I held the morag high above the ocean, and the Senecta jumped to catch it. It took my sick arm, and I thought that would be the end of the pestilence. But the third eye of the creature turned red, and it went feral. Attacked my boat and all the fish around. I thought I would revert, but I swear to Yod, I got saved by what must be a Galenta rising from the deep. To make the sick creatures disappear. It must have been gigantic. Or maybe it was the pain talking. I feel much better after a visit to the Shamars of Sapper. He definitely came across that gigantic. Uh, <laughs> gigantic one didn't he? The gigantic selector. If he's in Sapper, he's close by. Um, where'd it go? But I can't shake off the thought that the disease is part of Yod Gandar's design. What did I do to deserve this? Is it because I refused to open the latest Gandar shrine I found? Maybe. I have I have my reasons. The ancients create the shrines for a reason. I need to think about the consequences first. Anatok on the 11th moon of the newest cycle. Bones of Disan. On the 23rd moon, I reflected on the remains you can sometimes find around the pillars of Disan. I wouldn't want to revert this way, but I sometimes imagine explorers would cross the Yod, Yodam and see, yeah, whatever, Yodam and see them. What would they think? There are words I have awake. There are other worlds I have awakened in the Yodam. I saw inhabitants of our mirrored lands trapped in towers, connected through time and space. There is a veil, a veil between us, between worlds. Flipping it, come on. And Dokers allow us to see it, but the Dokers were only designed to deal with space, not time. With advanced crafts, one can pierce the veil and peek at the yachts. Ooh. And if one would want to leave Adelpha, reverting wouldn't help, as it's part of the life cycle in our world. 
Tearing up the veil is the answer. But what is the pr price for dis disrupting the grand design of the Yods? What is the price of Sankra? Is it not one to be paid in Zorkins? The ancients paid that price, and it will find and I will find what became of them beyond the veil. I know it. If you come across a one armed skeleton, you know that Anatok has failed. But be certain that he kept seeing seeking those worlds for the moon for the moons he has left or reverted trying. Is it an odd way to refer to myself in writing? I believe it is my shadow who is signing these words. Signing, singing? Uh, I am becoming her, and she is becoming me. Yes, it's a she. The rules of Talan gender are archaic. The third eye has no gender, no race, and only the third eye sees the veil. Only my shadow can touch it. It completes me. Anatok on the 23rd moon. So it was clearly seeing into our world i imagine i'm also interested like I, I i i kind of like don't want there to be a connection of humans i know it sounds silly but humans creating adelpha like i don't want the yods to be us from the future because they talk about like time not making sense through the the, the dokers but yeah also when they say yod dam were they talk is it like universe or something i don't want to check the log because i don't want to back to it bones of disarm was the last one let's have a look let's go down have a look and see what it says. We've got a lot of word there. Oh, it's not even there. That's annoying. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> What's the point of the glossary if I can't figure out what your damn means? Annoying. All right, freshly built ruins. That's a cool title. On the 44th moon, I can see how every magnificent creation will eventually turn into ruins of the past. I train my third eye to see time beyond the cycles of my existence. It is an essential key to the veil, but I am still missing the door where I could use it. you damn it! There it is. I hate myself for still thinking in geographical terms. I am here, but other worlds are also here. If I go there, other worlds are also there. The veil is everywhere, and so is the Yodam. The Yodam. Yodam? Sodom? I don't have to be at a specific spot to cross over. At first, the ancients made the same mistake. I must learn from them. Their tales speak of one oversized Dioka built secretly for their escape. Not to cross space, but to breach through time and worlds. Well, could that be the one in Okar? That's the, that's the big one, isn't it? That's the one that we will think about. A doka to free them all. On the 77th moon, is that just the next day? No, it's not. <laughs> I finally found a giant, the ah, ha, ha, here we go, let's go. Okay, this is getting interesting. I mean, it's already, whatever. On the 77th moon, I finally found the giant doka in the woods of Okar. Or should I say that I only found the ruins of what it was? This creation is not part of the grand design. And the Yods don't, didn't allow its existence on Adelpha. But the ancients did it. How they made it remains a mystery. But they succeeded. And some of them maybe even used it. They could never return to testify of their experience because the portal was destroyed. So how did the others cross? Their essence is, is missing. Their, essence is, their essence is missing from Adelpha's life cycle. And the Yods suffered from the ancients' defection. But that essence must be somewhere. No, not somewhere. I must escape once and for all. <clears throat> and all oh, that their essence is, is here. Sorry. I must accept once and for all that their essence is, is here and now. The essence is here and now. It is beyond the veil, which is why I can feel it, see shades of it, and almost touch it. I had a visitor from the other world, but I can't communicate with them. Or was, there, or, or was I the one to visit them? I want to touch them before the Yods reclaim me, reclaim my four essences. Anatok on the 77th moon. Cool. He went over to, to uh, a car. That's cute. Um, so I always thought it was the ancients that built the Dokers anyway. I felt like that was part of the lore for the first game. So it's interesting that it's more so they're talking about the Yods created the Dokers and then the ancients created their own ones to sort of go against the Yods. Did I got that right? Enter the Yodam. Okay. 
I'm guessing it just means the ether. Like, is this just where Cutter was in all those cutscenes where he's like floating around as an essence? On the 81st day, I woke up in the Yodam again. I got Yodam. I need to know how to pronounce that. Uh, damn, I miscounted Moon's. Oh, no. I'm, I'm reading a past comment there. I'm getting confused myself. Uh, on the 81st day, I woke up in the Yodam again. And I can't. I couldn't move. I was paralyzed and confined to some kind of tower I must replicate. I've seen these. I've seen more tower. I've seen more of these towers too. If I could create a beacon powerful enough, I'm sure that visitors of the Yoddam, the Yodam, 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 would see it shine through the veil. Maybe one of them knows how to cut through and reach my world. Maybe, excuse me. Maybe this is how the ancients managed to leave, with external help. Is it worth trying? I really hope we humans aren't flipping ancients. Anatok on the eight. That was Anatok on the eighty-first moon. All right, House of Light. On the eighty-eighth moon, I started to build a new lighthouse. Just decided to build a lighthouse. I do this all alone with one arm. I don't care how many moons or cycles it will take. Everybody probably thinks that old Anatok has lost his mind, but my shadow has the strength of a thousand talans. In fact, it has never been so strong. Why would I... <clears throat> Excuse me. Just take a bit of water. Throat's getting a bit raspy. But why would I build a lighthouse here? Talans from this part of Delphi are good navigators. They don't get lost at sea. Therefore, I am not building this edifice... Edifice, edi edifice. I've never come across that word before. For my people, but I found enough white helidium to generate a light that will shine across worlds, and I would be a fool not to use it. Twelve cycles. So he's making his beacon. Twelve cycles have passed since I wrote the previous words on this scroll, and the construction of the lighthouse is complete. I will rest here for a while. We deserve some rest. Are we? Am I? Is it just me again? I have never seen such a bright light. It made my shadow vanish instantly. <laughs> I don't even remember the moons when I was living apart from it. I lost most of the pages. I lost most of the pages of my travel diary. I am so tired. I can't even tell if I'm awake or asleep. But the light looks like it looks like a giant ball of fire. Anatok on the 18th moon. White helidium shining across worlds. Am I missing something? <laughs> Yod Fay in the sky of diamonds. On the second moon, okay, he's reset again. On the second moon, I had a better picture of that immense ball of fire I saw. Pure Fay essence in an amount never gathered before. You can't light a fire so big and make it fly in the air. It had the size of a moon, and I could be Yod Fay. I haven't. I have seen the Yods for the first time in my existence. For a moment. Yod Fay and Yod Car were together as a giant single moon burning in the sky of what could be a Delpha. So is he just seeing our world sky? Pretty sure the white helium, uh, helium trade to Earth will make the ancients come back. Interesting, interesting. This wasn't the Yodam either. I was not in one of its towers. This is my lighthouse. And it allowed me to peek through the veil to another world that is... Also ruled by our yods? This means the Ad that Adelpha is not their only design. They reign on different worlds too, and on the other side, someone has torn enough of the veil for me to see through it. Explorers have caught my signal, and they are coming. It is only a matter of time before these visitors make it through. But what time? Is it past or future? I have no way to know at this point in my journey. But something tells me that Yod Fay could very much support that move. Yod Fay is powerful in uh, in that world, so he's, he's it sounds like he saw the sun. Big massive, which is weird because I, mean, I guess to them their suns must be quite small, really hot but small. Well, that's two of them, I guess. So they could be on a planet that's akin to. Well, I don't know because our our sun's small in our sky as well. I don't know. Interesting. Or are you just seeing another planet altogether? The anomaly. Oh, hang on, 12th moon. Second. Okay, he's on the, this is still his third cycle. 
whatever cycle he's saying. But anyway, on the twelfth moon, I planted the seed of an abnormally of an uh, there. on the twelfth moon. I planted the seed of an anomaly because an anomaly is all it takes to create Sankra. I made my choice. I won't break the shrines open before I find the ancients, but I took a drop of Eloi essence stored in there and buried it in the ground. It only took ooh, it only took three months for a blue forest to grow from that seed. Three moons, and I did this. I did what the ancients used to do with the Yod's power of creation, but I didn't follow the rules of Melia. I wanted to experiment with just enough Sankra to understand how this works, but I created much more Sankra than I expected. I prayed for it to stop. This will have consequences. New beasts will rise from this new ecosystem. Does that make me there, Yod? I can't even believe I can formulate such blasphemy. But my shadow encourages me. My shadow protects me from the other Yods. Not that I could become one myself. Yet. Oh my Yod. I must not dwell on these thoughts, for they are the ones of a mad pilgrim. But I have been mad before. I have been many things, and I feel I could be so much more. Anatok on the Twelfth Moon. What the fuck is this anomaly? Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of curious. Planted the seed of anomaly because the anomaly is what it takes to create Sankra. I made the choice. So he's. Uh, Patchner said, fixed the anomaly spawn. What? Patchner says they fixed the anomaly spawn. And this anomaly created the blue forest. Is that something we haven't found yet? A big secret. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, there, there's, there's still question marks in the glossary, the characters, and the beastery. So who knows? They could have things slightly unlocked. Shouldn't they just waiting? Like, if they get the green light for Outcast 3, <laughs> then all the question marks, all those slots will disappear. And you'll be like, oh. They're like, nothing, don't worry about it. But if it doesn't get uh, green lit, then it's like, okay, so <laughs> here's a couple of things just to wrap up this story because I, uh, I, I, none of us can wait another 24 years for the next one. <laughs> All right, let's move on. The reverting truth. On the 52nd moon, I woke up next to a Doka after I must have fallen from the lighthouse during my afternoon nap. I was on the other side of the land. I don't remember visiting this yod dam in between now and then, but I am certain that I reverted this time. I feel younger, and most importantly, I have both arms attached to my body, which is normal for any Talan but me. How could I possibly revert to the same body as a grown-up Talan too? What are the odds? I must be so much stronger thanks to my regular visits to the shrines. And the Yods are playing tricks on me. Unless it's all because of Sankra. I don't understand why the Yods would allow such experiments. But the extent of their powers is not as obvious to me anymore. My faith remains. But there are other forces at play in the metaverse. Oh gosh, I'm jumping into metaverse now. Did I just invent a word again? Or did I grab it? Oh, okay. Or did I grab it from one of the ancient tales? What does it even mean? My memory is a fuzzy. Did someone push me through the veil when I was asleep? I remember the light. I always remember the light. But that word. Am I writing in this scroll for pos or pos posterity? I couldn't have possibly crossed worlds. Or I would remember it, right? Besides, this is my good old Delpha. No question about it. Anatok on the 52nd moon. Sounds like he got the uh, Cutter Slate treatment. If he came back with some abilities or something not abilities but you know got shot came back whatever then oh was that the reverting tr no idea then later on the okay second uh, from later on the 52nd moon I came across a certain hazardous who warned me about the pestilence I won't name it felt so familiar of course it can only be the same hazardous I recognise its essence so my last guidance must have failed that was a long time ago and I have no hazard hazardav left to attempt a second try. It is strange how it kept tormenting me as we've never met before. Tormenting me as if as we've never met before? As if we know? Anyway. 
It even followed me to that place where I wanted to prove that I got rid of the of that monstrosity that impeached my speech and blinded my third eye with an aggressive frenzy. It only took the smell to know that Gandar corruption uh, was there as if I had never touched it. This is not now. This is not then. Something happened to me, and I won't risk approaching that thing again. Anatok, on the 52nd estimated moon? Flippin' egg. Uh, probably talking about this diary not spawning. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, the Art of Sankra. On the 57th moon, I became a sculpture. It is true that on the very moon I am writing these words, I have zero artistic talent. But on the same moon, I am writing the words that follow, and it is also true that I am the greatest artist that has ever lived and reverted to the surface of a delver. This is my latest experiment with Sankra, and it is a powerful one. I started to work on the rock near Desan that the sun this morning on a whim and the result looked like shit i jumped from a pillar and reverted to perfect perfect my craft on the same very, very same moon i must have spent 15 cycles doing that until my art turned out perfect turned out perfect in only one morning of work i kept my face hidden under a cloak and no talan recognized me as their missing master of ceremonies they all agreed i am a genius sculptor now I sold my rock to a Shamaz who offered a th sculpture to the Almaye in Kazar. He gave me enough Zorkins to upgrade my meals from Riss to Morags for many moons to come. I wonder if we can go to Kazar and see that. That'd be interesting. It only took one morning of 15 cycles, and I haven't aged a moon in the process, but I must resume my quest. I will close my humble hut and leave. I live happily here. I live hap I lived happily here for the longest short time in my life. But the ancients await and I start to feel they're equal. Ooh, my true place is among them. If only the visitors could tear the veil open today, I'd be ready to greet them. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm right in thinking that he's now fully aware that he can just kill himself and he's we've just come back a bit more like refreshed and everything. So that's what it seems like. He seems like he used that to just get better art. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, I wonder if there is something in Kazar that you can see. It's like, oh, there's, a, there's a, a rock sculpture there. Forgotten fame. On the 63rd moon, did you find the gangs of Sherwood Easter egg in Kazar? I don't think I did. I'm not sure I, what I was looking for because I've not got a PC, so I've not played that one. Uh, forgotten fame on the 63rd moon my shadow doesn't allow me to remove my cloak anymore my shadow is my cloak i'm too popular and yet too anonymous at the same time i can't talk nor meet any talan without greeting more sankra than i should and i admit that i may have over experimented with that power for one cycle too many i shouldn't be around beasts either their third eye sees me for what i truly am i won every nom nom race possible fought a Garandar with my bare hands and jumped from so many trees in Ema that I don't even bother using the stairs of my lighthouse anymore. Oh wow. I keep fueling its light with white halidium, hence my first encounter with the Garandar. The stock is more limited than I thought. Hmm. So he's able to do massive bounds and leaps. This is interesting. I train my arms and legs to run faster than a Gamor and pull more weight than any Twanha. I speak Bonbar and three dialects of Ventilope. <laughs> and I'm starting to get bored because why would I even want to start communicating with Krakens? Dig, attack, dig. Here, I learned their tongue without even putting any effort into it. <laughs> Anatok on the 63rd moon. <laughs> That's fun. Weird though. So it seems like he's just... I don't know. It seems like he's just able to keep on... I don't know. Getting a bit confused. Um... But I think that's the point. On the 75th moon, I sat down to reflect on some of my findings about Sankra. Melia is a per, per, as a preservation concept. No wonder the Yods love it so much. Melia is safe, but nothing can happen in Melia except Sankra, or anything else can happen in Sankra except Melia. That's interesting. Both concepts exclude each other, <clears throat> but only one authorizes the concept of freedom. The way of Melia is conservatism, not letting anything out of the reverting process. 
keeps the four essences balanced and the yods equal. The way of Sankara, however, comes with conflict and imbalance among the yods, surprise and evolution. It is a dangerous way, but oh so worth it. A world can thrive in perfect melia, <clears throat> but it can only evolve through Sankara and the challenges that must be overcome to instigate a progress and change. Not overcoming those challenges often mean the end of something. In perfect Melia, the ancients would still be prisoners of this world. Through Sankra, they freed themselves to explore the Yodam and beyond. I am blessed for being for before my third eye opened, I didn't know I wasn't free. That's really interesting. I was born in in Melia time. <laughs> the nineties in the UK felt like Melia time. Um and then Sankara has been kind of what everyone's been feeling ever since. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's a really interesting way of putting it. <clears throat> like there's this desired perspective of Melia, these peace times, these sort of like stable times, but no progress happens without change. And change equals Sankara, which is just the dominance of one thing over the other, which sure could be something like a something violent like Fey, which could maybe sort of like bring back a society or push it forward in some ways like an arms race or something which created a war it's like a fey pushing or something i don't know it's interesting i get the concept the real anomaly okay on the 91st moon i realized that there are so many worlds here and now that the explorers may never pick a delta to visit if that moon doesn't come i might be stuck on a delta forever reverting to the same body to no peace although i am growing in power and knowledge I'm not able to use anything I've learned because my fellow Talans wouldn't understand how I can exist in their world and my peers left so long ago. I am a lonesome anomaly that the Yods don't even care addressing. I haven't been in the Yodam for cycles or I can't remember my visits. Maybe that's how they punish me for my pagan ways of life. I thought I would start feeling like them, like I owned this world when I created so many mountains, forests and beasts. But the more I control it, the less I belong. I must depart from Adelpha. I am longing for anyone to find me. Anyone. I'll be easy on the terms of passage. Just follow the light. Anatok on the 91st moon. <laughs> so he's, he himself has been just sort of changed so much from the parkour movement from totems. Uh, that parkour movement from movement tech from totems and urban race needs to make a comeback and three how much of totems were there i feel like i only ever saw like two screenshots of that game urban race i'm not i don't think i've heard about that one was the grinding anything about that the guts of that take take it away but this is really cool so this is like he's he's got the same thing that cutter does where he can just keep coming back over and over again and in that time he's sort of been able to learn so many skills so much through the yodum powers he's just found so much that he's just now not feeling like a talan anymore he's feeling like something more but he's never met anybody more so he has nothing really to compare it to other than just yeah yeah he has no like baseline anymore a master reborn on the 92nd moon i will make sure that i am the only talan able to properly change a codex in the four temples after all i was the one who had the idea of the codex in the first place the ancients used them to steal essences from the temples. But I didn't know that when I created Palana and the Darasham Keepers followed my lead. Sorry, but I didn't know that when I created Palana and the Darasham Keepers followed my lead. That's interesting. So the catalysts are like machines that are collecting the powers of each essence. Uh, not sure how far Totem's got, but urban races seem to have been an effort of salvage the already create a movie for the tech and that makes a quick buck for it interesting i need to look into that one um i was the master uh, yeah i was their master then and surely enough i am their master now i have them bring the codexes and leave because i'll make the tasks of replenishing them so hard to achieve it will look like the yods themselves are doing it but it will all be me and only me using yods energy for my own design who is mastering who now Huh? I am the only answer. Uh, sorry, I am the only master. <laughs> only this way I can control the gates to the Yodum. The Yodum will have. Oh, he's coming a bit evil here. The Yodum will have to listen to me if I decide to close their sources of hazardous. Palana 
their source source of hazardous. Polana won't be able to function without me. He who has the power to interrupt the reverting cycle has the power to bend the yods to his will. I am angry, and my fey essence is taking over. Now I know exactly how the ancients felt before they left. Oh dear. A yod's bargain. On the first moon, as I expected it, the yods started to allow me into the yodon more often. And not only can I remember at least half of my time there, I also remember having more freedom in my movements, even though I didn't think I left the tower a single time. Anatop on the first moon. So he's, he's, he's another cycle. Encounter of some kind. On the on the first moon of yeah, damn it! They made it. They made me lose track of my cycles, but my time has not come. I still have to wait. What did I see? What did I hear? Did I touch anything? Where's my cloak? Don't do this to me. I swear on the ancient's blood, if you took my shadow away, I will make sure that Palana shuts down forever. I will burn the car temple, flood the fey sanctuary, and throw each stone of Gundar efficiently into the Eloi waters. <laughs> I don't fear you. I won't risk reverting again until you offer me what I've asked. Anatok, full stop. It's got a bit bonkers. We're getting close. Ooh, Urukai. I have been etching random symbols over the old sculptures, uh, scriptures for I don't know how many moons now. Calling them profane. I don't care. Call them profane. I don't care. They are my Sankra prophecies. I don't want anyone to understand your design the way I do. You'll pay for what you did to me and my peers. I don't want anyone serving you ever again. Your essence is a weak and my Sankra is strong as it ever will be. I know you, why you let the agents go, and whether you want it or not, I'm following their footsteps. Here, how about this one? I call it Ulukai. It has a nice shape. It has a nice shape to it. The moons, the veal, the veil, veal. <laughs> I wonder what story Salans will make out of it. A story of faith, I'm sure. Whatever it is, remember that I am its creator. I am the last architect of your world. And I may as well come to terms with it if you don't let me out. Right. What is he saying here? So he's come up with the word, Ulukai? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Let me out of the veil. Stop holding me back. I am overcome with that <laughs> On the third moon, I started to wonder if any of this ever happened. So I visited the Gandar temple once again. Almost no one ever comes here anymore except for me. And I was recently here. I was here recently, yes. These are my last drawings. Awful. Maybe this one? Yes, I really like that sign. Or is it more that I hate it? How about I erase it now and start over with something less, I mean more... The Darish and Keepers are here. I must hide and take care of the codexes when they leave. Unless I don't do any of that. It's getting harder and harder to make decisions after my Fae Crisis. It's getting harder and harder to repress the Fae Crisis too. Anatok on the third moon. He's been busy the last couple of days. Uh, probably talking about the Ulkai symbol. Got ya. I, yeah, as he was talking about that and writing and drawing stuff. Yeah, I think I'm with you. Now... This the last one? Shoo. Now. It worked. And therefore I must haste. It's not here. It's there. I was there then. So I should know now. It could also have been here then or there at some point in the future. But they chose a different time and place. I have no control over that. But I still have some control. Don't I? Masters usually do. The time is not now but soon. I will be there. Then, Master Anatok. Okay, well, we didn't. <laughs> At long last, I really take my first steps out of time and space. Okay, so that, that clue makes sense for the story. <laughs> but not for anything else. Interesting. Well, there we go. That is the... Um, that's the story. Uh, I'm guessing just the last one is that he escaped the veil. And that was it. Anatok, a guy who 
found the immortality through the powers of the Vale and the Yods and went a little crazy. Created the symbol of the Ulukai, which the um, the Talan took as a new sign from the Yods and dubbed that someone like Cutter the Ulukai. Or um, Professor Kaufman, when he came to Adelpha accidentally thousands of, of moons or 20 years before Cutter did, um, he used that snort sat that uh name for cutter because he knew cutter was going to come eventually so he's like well there's an ulukai going to come and he's going to restore balance i'm like oh ulukai we know that because the odds which wasn't actually the odds it was this guy i think interesting i thought it would reveal a bit more but i mean we got some cool stuff about like there being different worlds it's not just earth out there as the first game we talked a lot about how the two uh, worlds Adelpha and uh, Earth were connected. But it seems like there's more out there, which is kind of cool. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Well, there we go. That is the final stream for Outcast A New Beginning on Under the Moon's channel. Uh, would have been interesting to see what's behind that last, <laughs> that last one. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a message about it somewhere. Or if anybody wants to know, they can probably look for it. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah. I've really enjoyed playing this game. It's a game that I think I'm still just going to go on to and just explore. Even though there might be not there might not be things to explore. I think I just have so much fun being in that world and existing. There's still secrets, I think. There's still landscapes to discover. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Come enjoy this. And I'll be working on a review for the game as well. Um, which I don't know if I'm going to go into a spoiler discussion in that trailer. I might uh, that review. I might do, but we'll find out. But thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching live. Big hello. A big thank you to Orwin. Big thank you to Ant. And why not? If you're there, thank you for watching as well. Um, good times. Good times. Well, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time under the moons. See you later. <laughs> Awkwardly waving. <laughs> Bye.